Because I keep saying let's continue. We're not, we're not really continuing. We're doing a new the same game uh, of uh, Live Life uh, 2022 version, not the 1994 version for the Sega Genesis. I think it was out. Uh, doing that. Um, true ending, which again, not true good ending, which basically just means he uh, plays all the characters. Uh, we get all the way to the end, and basically we go through a court one and uh, uh, do what we need to do for that. So uh, just making sure that everything's working. Because this is the second time I think I've been on here for this, so. Uh, Everything looks like it should be working the way that it does. Uh, I just need to remember that Alt is now my uh, button press for splitting instead of the spacebar, because spacebar is to mute the stream if I need to just mute it. Because uh, one thing that I have noticed with uh, OBS is that if you do set the button to mute, uh, no matter when you press the button, even if it's not on the program, it mutes the stream, which is kind of a uh, bit silly. Like, there might be a way to fix that, but I'm not entirely sure. So that's what we're going to be trying to do today. Uh, obviously, uh, tomorrow is going to be. Uh, thank you for the luck, uh, Cupid. Really appreciate it. Um, the uh, plan for tomorrow. Oh, you started in the distant future? Uh, so in the run here, we start at the near future. Uh, we start at the near future, and then we go... Right. Uh, if that makes sense. We go right, so, uh, because it's just faster. So you start at the near future, and then we go right. So it'll be, it's like near future... Uh, what is the order now? I, I can't even remember. It's like near future... No, I can actually check it now. It's near future... Near future, distant future, Edo Japan, Imperial China, then uh, present day, prehistory, uh, Wild West, Middle Ages. Um, when I first played, I think I started on the near future because I didn't know that the game started. Um, I didn't know that the game started. Uh, I, I, I guess it doesn't matter which order you play it in. So I just, I think I just went with whatever was the first option, which was the near future. So that was my first one, um, and then I think from there I just kind of went randomly, I guess. I just went with whatever was in the order of the game. Um, and I never actually finished the game. Um, I got to... I got to the Middle Ages, I got all the way to the final boss, and the final boss... Uh, I struggled with because I didn't realize that you could go and find all the other companions because I didn't know where to find them, and uh, I guess I was just really, really under level. And the final boss is difficult if you're not careful, so uh, it, it is quite hard. Um, but last time I did the final boss here, we did get the. Uh, I did get it first try, both versions, and uh, the boss rush it was also done in first try, I think, as well, so. Obviously, I'm looking to save more time with this, but, uh, this game is such, is, is so much fun to play. I mean, a lot of the games I've done have been really good. Uh, been really fun. I do very much enjoy this game. Have you never played the original, of course? I did not own a... Sega, I think it was a Sega Genesis that it was on. It was in 94, so I didn't own, I didn't own, I, I don't own any Sega products, uh, any Sega systems, I should say. Um, even though they've been pretty consistent, but, uh, I, I do like the whole aspect. I, 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 I could have, I could do a, I didn't do a playthrough of this on stream. I guess I could go and do that at some point, so I've never actually done one. Again, this is another re this is another game where I wish I had streamed it the first time that I played just to get uh, get my progression. But I have just so many other games I want to do. Uh, but yeah, I guess I should get good things started. I know I'm kind of still there, but it's also because I'm testing to make sure that it works. Because uh, this switch to OBS has been fine. Uh, I just have a little bit of niggles and complaints about when I go and transfer to OBS. Um, just have to see how that goes. Um, 
I, I like it, but I also don't really like it, so we just have to see how things go uh, with this. I don't, at least now I don't have to worry about the uh, black uh, background screen that's happening to the capturing system. Uh, I don't need to worry about the uh, conflicting you know, mouse or button presses either, so uh, yeah, I guess I just... Oh, let's begin. This, this isn't uh, nearly... Uh, my, my record is 545. I want to get it less than that. Obviously, the last run was not great. We were like 20 minutes behind, but if we can somehow like pull it back, we might be able to actually save some time if I actually play correctly. So, uh, sound sounds like it's been synced correctly. Um, that was a problem as well. Um, sound synced correctly. So, uh, run begins like basically when you start your game. So, uh, three, two, one. Let's uh let's let's give this a crack again. Let's give this a crack one more time. Oh not one more time. I'm gonna get better at it. Um, I wanna get better than just more doing more uh one more time. I wanna I know where I've made mistakes. Uh I think my splits are set to be the best possible time, so I shouldn't worry so much about the actual time itself. I should worry more about like the end time, because I've got I think I have this stuff set wrong. Most of the stuff is consistent though, it's it's just uh remembering the movement, remembering items, and getting good uh, uh getting good weapon placement. Uh getting good fights, which is uh, some of these fights haven't been going consistently for me, but other fights have, so... Again, there's certain fights that can just go wrong. Um, no matter how, like, like this first fight, for example. I got this fight fast the first time, but then the other, every other time I had to be slow. Um, also, skipping cutscenes is kind of slow. I just like that there's no right way to play this, because you can play as all eight travelers in whatever order you want, and there's no like correlations until you get to the end. Not the shame always. Oh, don't ask us now. Just some rage on the uh, giant viking guy. You want to try and kill all the enemies, but sometimes you get a strike over here on them. This can kill if it also gets hit. Just... Like here it's, it's slow because it's, it's not uh we gotta go through the times. Oh don't ask us now. I'm just trying to get this big to be consistent. Oh, matching the uh the buttons. Like, we're gonna lose a little bit of time just from this fight not going. Like... So you are yeah, we got two napalm grenades, that's actually really good. We don't need, now we, we're gonna save time immediately just because of, uh... Just because of that. Um, because the last time we did this, I had to get the throwing knife, which is obviously a much, much slower... It's a much, much slower, uh... Thing. If you don't get the, uh... Now remember to talk to everyone first. Um... Napalm Grenade is much faster, you can end a fight in one uh, turn, versus having to do multiple turns. Uh, versus doing multiple turns. Uh, also, we're supposed to swap the uh, controller as well. I accidentally forgot to do that, so uh, we're using the same controller again. I know I would set up as well. Uh, whenever we're going to the uh, antique shop, 
Uh, you always want to go uh, to the left here and wait around the... Wait around this point. Uh, you gotta wait for that enemy on the left there to go up so that you can then go this way. That's always very consistent. Read the mind. Read the mind of the room, and then we go to downstairs. But yeah, if I can keep getting that consistent movement, that's uh, that's better. It's better to be uh. So when you go, uh, anytime you have to go from the orphanage to here, you take the same route because uh, every single uh, uh, what the I think there's three different. Possible spawns. The enemies here. Uh, but once you've seen the first one, you know what the next one is. So here you want to go uh, up this way. You want to probably wait until about here. Wait for this guy to go down. And then you know you just go consistently. You just consistently make your way to where you need to go. So. Sometimes uh, it can be a bit bad depending on the position of the guy who's running after you. Um, that can. Uh, calls the guy that you normally go south on. Uh, he can get up, and you sometimes have to you barely, barely miss it. This time, don't forget the Furious Fist. Don't forget the Furious Fist. Don't forget to talk to the character first. I think I'm supposed to do this. Go and talk to the kid in uh, the room that uh, she just came out of. And you're gonna say yes, but then uh, you're gonna say sure do, but then you back out of it. You don't need to do anything. Now we go. Now we can go to the. Now we go to the, the talk. Basically, now what we do is we talk to uh, Taiko here, and then we just keep going back and forth to the toilet here until we get the. Uh, until we get the item that we were looking for, which is Tycho's Furious Fist, which we will be equipping to uh, Lawless when we have to deal with the uh, Commander fight, which is the one fight that I was having trouble with uh, the first time we tried this one. Get the Furious Fist. Um, again, so that's going to change because we have the Napalm Grenades, we can end a fight much faster. steps and principles as last time. Stick to about here. It may seem like you're going to get caught, but once the guy moves up, you pretty much don't have to worry about him following you. You might be able to go a little bit further. This is uh, very consistent so far. I'm, I'm not forgetting anything. And I'm uh, remembering where I'm supposed to go. Now that isn't going to be the case with some of the other ones, because I might just... Where to go again, but I think for the distant future I need just I need to just remember which uh, areas. Ah. So I think we're coming up to the uh, we're coming up to the. Uh, we have to remember now, so uh, we have to enter in a code to be able to enter into the steel type for the first time. So it's a, there's an elephant to the right, a, a book on, at the counter, xylophone, uh, the, the Kitsune mask uh, in the top left, then we created the mecha, and then we wash our hands, go into the toilet uh, room, and then uh, we have access to the steel type. It's, it's, the code is always, always the same. So el this elephant here. First we gotta talk to the doc. Talk to the doc first to initiate the uh, Touch the elephant. Oh, gone. Can't skip this every time, so I'll be happy to just 
mash and wait for the uh, thing. Read the book. Play the Xylophone. And then see the Kitsune Mask on the top left there. That is where the next the next one. That's the Kitsune Mask. Then we go downstairs. Uh, we have to pray to the... Uh, uh, pray to the mech. And then we... Uh, wash our hands. And then... Uh, we go into the TV. Get the extra to the Steel Titan. I'll be swapping my notes. I need to remember what we're doing. Probably do it. Can't skip this. Yeah, so Crusaders 2 is the fight that we do uh, back at the orphanage when we get back. They'll be waiting outside for us, however, the that fight is uh, fairly consistent. It's pretty consistent actually, it's just uh do mother's shame toys. But the reason I have the Crusaders 2 fight there is because uh, it allows me to see how fast my uh, time is from like doing everything else here. in this uh, chapter, but it's just one thing I need to remember, but you activate all the console things here. Switch you are eat. Can't skip this. So you gotta okay. push all five of these. There are diagonal ones which you need to okay. thing, but once you get to the center you can just hold the okay. bottom left and bottom right and it will get you to what you need. <laughs> And talk to the doctor. So now we skip this again. We'll come back to here later, obviously. Yeah, so far, so good. No major, like, hiccups or mistakes. So you can see the enemy down. See the enemy there is chasing you. Sometimes he'll go if you go too far to the south or uh, east, I think there. If you go too far to the east, he will go north and then he'll force that other enemy that was going south to come uh, uh, up north. And you can still get away, but you're running the risk of being caught. You can actually be uh, very easily caught there. Alright, so this is Crusaders 2. Because Doc Crusaders is a separate, uh... Doc Crusaders is the one after we've, uh... uh done the following sequence. So this fight's very consistent. Uh, you just do Mother Shane twice. Oh, don't ask us now. You can see how much time I get to save just from here to do. Not actually making any mistakes. Um... Not making any mistakes whatsoever with, uh, movement. Oh, don't ask us now. So even though we lost six seconds at the start because of the bad fight, we did get uh, a lot of time. Amazing how uh, much time you can save if you actually just remember what you're supposed to do. Alright, so now we're going to the dock. Uh, which is a series of... Uh, Kazu's been kidnapped, and it's basically just a series of us going around, following where the... Following where the, uh... You can't skip any of these dialogues, so you just have to mash through them. Um, it's a series of... Uh, just following these... Uh, orange flags until we... Can go to the dock and... Actually... Save, uh... Kazu.
Storm Crusaders, which again, uh, it's a similar thing, Mother Stream and then uh, Fist of Rage, but uh, I guess we don't kill all of the animals. Oh, so Well, sometimes it's usually most of the time. I was gonna say this should kill everybody. Uh because the other ones, ones are very low. Even though he heals quite health, the uh, amount of damage here is. Was... So you can already see we're like losing a little bit of time just because of uh... that not going as well. I think we read the mind of this guy and then we read the mind of the Mosaka. Actually, no, we have to, uh, sorry, we talk to him first, and then... Talk to him first, and then read his mind. Or we can... So, Ambush Crusaders is gonna go faster than before, because, uh, we have the Napalm Grenade now. We've got the Napalm Grenade, and we don't need to worry about, uh, the... Uh, we've got two Napalm Grenades, actually, so, uh, unfortunately we don't need to use the second one, but we, uh, getting, uh, Napalm Grenade means we can finish one fight with just... Uh, the, the one main part, right? Instead of having to do a throwing knife and then having to do all the, the things that this time. Usually, uh... I wish there was an indication to tell you about what you're supposed to do if you, like, uh, read the minds and stuff. Would have liked if you could, uh, figure that, like, be able to do that. If you had to talk to them, just have a, a speech bubble. If you, if you want to talk to them, and just do the, uh... So now we're going to the, uh... I what the name of this building is. Is it Sukasa? Uh, Sukasa building? Sukuba, our uh, research facility. Right, so we're skipping all of these fights. Obviously, I'll save time here if I'm able to skip fights. Uh, we still need to want to grab the fragmentation grenade from this second locker. But we don't need to grab the throwing knife from the first one because we have the name upgrades necessary. Um, so we want to hold right because otherwise these enemies are going to. Mine, they support me. Um, Maybe I should have held him um, There is a little bit of a fancy way of trying to uh, get through here, but you're better off just uh, running into the enemy and just letting them uh, tag you. Gonna, uh, there is a way to get around it, but it's, you're probably going to get caught. So you're like, you've got to be careful because the enemies are... Uh... We were going to get caught anyway, but it was at least better than... Uh, if I went left, it would have been a difference. Like, I came caught four times there, though. I think that's the first time I've been caught four times. Good thing is that the enemies do not, uh, if you get into an encounter with one of them, uh, they will not, uh, be out of, like, they'll still be stunned. So we get the second locker, uh, frag grenade, which is gonna be used to finish a fight much faster. If you miss out on the napalm grenade at the start from one of the crusader fights, you need to grab the... You need to grab that, uh... Uh, throwing knife from the first lock. Right, this one here, we hold top left. So you can go behind the guy and then go down. So we can fight here. And then up here. 
here. Uh, this is not the Ambush Crusaders fight. The Ambush Crusaders fight's in the room. This one here, all we do is... Uh, Left twice, right grenade. So use the frag grenade. Oh, yeah. Kills the uh, guy on the left, which then gets overpowered the enemy. So enemies that have enemies that have uh, flags on them, if you kill them in a fight and there's like five other enemies around. Uh, they, uh, will, it will consider, be considered like you've overpowered the enemy and you get the, uh... So this one here is also just, uh, move left once, they come from here. So this is an example of what I was talking about. You can see that there's four enemies here that have flags on them, and there's three enemies that do not. By killing the enemies that do not have the flag, uh, that do have the flag, sorry, that kills all of the enemies that, uh, can't be, uh, I mean, we got another napalm grenade for our trouble. Well, not that we need to use them, but. Um... Alright, so now we. Uh, we do. Recommend equipment on Lawless and then swap. Uh... Lawless. So now we gotta do the commander fight. I'm sure how to skip this guy. There's gotta be some way to do it, but I'm not. I I I, I, I can't remember what I have to do. But you can skip this way. I'm not very good with the fight skips, which is where I probably save some time. I've also gotta remember that the time loss that I'm seeing on my screen is based on my PB, not my. So this is the commander fight. We want to be to the left side of him, and we basically want to entice him to attack everyone else. This is where we're going to be, and we basically just spam out fists of uh, spam out fists of rage. We want him to be enticed to attack Akira and uh, the others. Put ourselves in a position where we can be targeted. So good. For attacks. <laughs> Although we are currently ahead of the damage. So, uh... We should also be fine with this too. See. No. For everything else, I don't really need the targets. So I know where I'm supposed to be. Make sure you push uh, pass instead of teleport, it's like what we did you out of the toilet. That was the first try. Number 9 potion's good. Maybe we save some time there. Okay, so now uh, we need to go here and get the password. Go here get the password. Uh, even if you know, even though we know the password already beforehand, Even though we know what the password is beforehand, because we've done the thing before, we have to still get the password as a requirement. Um, I think I just go left here, uh, right here instead of down, because I'm going... I think, is, uh, I think you're supposed to go down. Uh, down and around him. So we can avoid all the fights that are here. So we can avoid all the fights there if we're a little bit further down. We can go around them, but uh, it's fine. We're saving time overall in this chapter. Based on what I did before, like no matter how mistakes. So the password's always the same. On the door, we want to make sure we, when we get to the door, we mash A. So we don't get into any fights. f 49 fs always the password. Keep holding up so that you don't get into any other fights. Uh, this fight here is very consistent and easy. Just go behind uh, the robot, Fist of Rage, and uh, that's it. You'll always uh, do a counter that will. Uh, you'll always do the vaporizing counter. 
Sorry, you can always do the vaporized counter move, which will do, uh, cool. it's just basically like the self destructive explosion. But, uh, that is the fight. More than one. Last. So, still a Titan Gauntlet, we can save some time by having better fights. Also, by not making the mistake of, uh, being in the wrong spot. Which I seem to have been doing the last couple of times. All this stuff here is just walking. Yeah, we'll the same sort of pattern. We're heading to the. Uh, whenever we're heading to the uh, place, we always stick to around here. We just wait. You never get caught at all. Uh, Any time you'll get caught is if you uh, go a little bit too far to the. Oh, yeah. Any time you'll get caught there is if you have um, gone too far to the left. If you go too far to the left, uh, that enemy on the left will come to the east, and then you'll be sandwiched in because there's two enemy, an enemy coming from the east as well. Uh, you can always just wait here. Guy to the south, you can see uh, east there to go south, and then you can go uh, where you need to go. Um, without having to ever worry about him going and doing uh, anything. Three tools in mind, and then we're almost at the. We're basically almost at a point where we have to skip everything. There's gonna be a lot of uh, really cool uh, cutscenes that we have to skip. Down here, the uh, orphanage will be on fire. So now we have to go from uh, the east. We have to go from the east, uh, to talk to the matron here. And then we have to go uh, through every single room, go up from the east uh, to the west, uh, before we can enter into the room that's has the uh, actual story uh, thing, so we start from the east because the move the area that we need to go in is to the west. And when I say every room, and every room is uh, we have to go to every room. So you get, the bathroom is not on fire, but the toilet is on fire. Uh, somehow, somehow they set fire to the toilet. In here. So again, okay, we go into every single room because we cannot uh, trigger where we have to go until after we've. Uh, Explored all the rooms. That's why there's all those question marks on the thing. You can have that. Right, now we can read the mind of character. Now we get a lot of cutscenes to skip, uh, and we'll finally be able to pilot the Steel Titan and actually use it in battle, which uh, can be very consistent. Uh, it's still based. It's still random in some cases because of. Uh, you can have the odd fight spawn be uh, a little bit further to the right, which means that you have to make the extra move. Um, you can have another. Um, you can also have another fight be uh, a little bit problematic, but the the boss fight itself is usually easy. It just depends on. You. I, I've had a, a time where it's it's the same with both arms and leg moves. I've had a time where it's done kind of that, so it's really just up to what the game decides on the game.
here, the, the uh, Steel Titan theme, all the way through, uh, basically until we, uh, all the fights will have this theme, uh, until the final. Keep in mind that uh, we're using Halogen Laser the whole way. Uh, Halogen Laser covers uh, the entire, uh, covers about four rows um, across every single column. So uh, basically, just look at the fight spawn and determine which is the best uh, position to go. Usually, you have to go down. Usually, you go like down one space, down a couple spaces. Um, this is, these are all random fights about whether you get through the... They're not, they're not set uh, numbers. Like that one there was an easier one. This one here is also an easy one. Just go down and now this one is Two fight spawns already that are both very easy. Uh, I've got to remember not to make the mistake with... Uh... Here's an example of like where we uh, have to move down more than the time. Uh, so the clear up the entire. I'm 
consider the end of this gauntlet when uh, we beat this one. I think also my splits are based on the. Uh, my splits are also based on like the best time I've had or something. So I don't think I've actually lost like a minute 15. I don't see how I lost so much time, uh, considering like after the commander fight was just... I guess it was uh, not getting to the proper fight, maybe. Right, so this is a uh, very consistent, so you just again do Babylon stop. Uh, and it just, just keep doing that, and it's all determined on if uh, moves get uh, disabled or not. Uh, if they do, we go Metal Strike and March Rage. I think they've been disabled, so uh, they're not getting a uh, not getting a great fight. Uh, it's not as good as what it could be. We have to wait until the uh, it goes away. This is like the absolute worst. This is not what you want to happen. You don't want to have both arms and legs disabled. Because then you can't do uh, your most powerful moves, so you have to wait longer for these animations. We actually had a better Inco fight. And despite having so it would have gone by much faster if we uh, did not have the Bubble One Stomp uh, disabled, then we still saved. Uh, I guess it still saved time on that. Alright, so that's the first chapter done. First chapter is uh, done and out of the way. Save, we always save the game because it's after each. Uh, uh, cause I, I believe you have to load uh, something at some point, so you don't want to have a uh, thing in, uh, anyway. All right. So overall, save thirty-one seconds, I think. But I get. I, I, it, I, I don't know if that's completely accurate. I, I'm not sure how to make uh, to check if it is, but that, that's why I'm going to go by based on the base. Uh, the only time that matters at the end is the is the last one. Uh, all the other splits are, uh, aren't as important. I, I forgot to change the time of this again, so I'll. Uh... Uh, but, I also realized I've got to remove the Rachel coffee split, but I think it should be fine. Okay, we want to change our name because it's much easier to spell one than it is to spell cube each time. So. Alright, so now basically our splits are based on the uh, coffee scenes, and when we get a couple other things. Make sure I don't forget about those. Some of them aren't realistic. I need to... It's like a... There. Uh... I think I just forgot to remove some of them. The Rachel split is 519, uh, 5319, but the pry bar is 5324, which obviously that's not, you can't have a 5 second split there, so. But it won't matter if I, uh, if these get replaced, so. If these are splits get replaced by other ones, it's gonna not matter. So 
Ready to give all of our crew members coffee? Mm. Uh, oh, it's not yet. So you normally have to go down to do something else, uh, but you can bypass it by just going here and talking to Rachel, who will then, uh, I guess, summons all the crew to to here, and then you just talk to each of them individually instead of having to do that other marker there. I'm not sure. I, I I've only played this one time, so I don't remember. Um, I don't remember what happened, what the reason is you have to go down to there to do, and you can just bypass this here. So level one is next. A lot of this is uh, back and forth. Until we get to the next coffee segment. So I, maybe to shorten the notes down, I should just write down what the levels are. The only chapter I'm really getting lost in is, um... It, yeah. The Edo Japan one, and that's at main, mostly at the start. So let me go back to three again. It's mostly the Edo Japan one that I'm getting all set, which is at the main at the start. But then at that point, once I start seeing where I'm supposed to go, I it's actually more consistent. And then all the fights, I'm fairly confident with just making sure, just gotta make sure that we don't make certain mistakes. Then we go back to one again. Oh, that's why you go to two to the medical bay. So I think this is when the first attack happens. And of course, we can save time in this quite a bit because I uh, got hit by the behemoth twice. It's always a set spawn, so I'm just going to remember that I do not need to. Uh, with the behemoth spawn, I do not need to... Uh, with the behemoth spawn, I do not need to, uh, what's it called? Uh, what, what, if I see where it is, it's gonna always be there. It's, uh, to just remember that, like, I, I can go so far and then it should, uh, should be okay. Alright, so we're better off for the next coffee. Can't skip the uh, scene in there. And there are some times where you want to pick a different elevator and a different way to go that takes you the same sort of way. Supposed to be the, the guy on the bottom. No, it's not good, it's the other one. Input, uh, input thing. So we have the 
owl's name is one. Because of uh, that Rigorous thing that you can put in into the uh at least on the Switch version, that's the quickest uh, option that there is. It's the first thing that's always on your screen. So now we go to uh, level one. Not, I, I wouldn't say it's like a great, it's not like a great speedrun chapter because it's you're not really doing a lot. It's just a lot of back and forth on the elevator, talking to people and skipping it. But the uh, obviously you're gonna enjoy this a lot more um, if you play like and read all the dialogue and stuff. I, I like this one, and there's not a lot of combat either. So you don't, there's only like one uh, uh, thing for combat. Well, there's a couple of things for combat, but. Um, not, not a whole lot. So you don't have to really worry about uh, leveling up characters or... So then we go to level one, talk, and then back to the way we just were here. Yeah, I just realized here, the I think the one of the... I think the Rachel... One of the splits here is wrong. I think it's the... Uh, that's also what makes me think that it's got to do with the... Uh, uh, I think the splits are only showing what my best PB is. It's not showing, uh... Like, the current, uh... The, the current best run up against the... So I'll have to figure out what that is. Figure out how to change that. Medical bay. Actually, whoops, I'm supposed to go down here. right here to this I think I've added in extra stuff that I don't need to do here for the because the chase sequence happens at this point.
So this is where we have to come. Off the cap, okay. So now that I forgot to split somewhere, I think it, I might have got to split here with uh, Rachel's coffee. Wait like a second or two for the cutscene. It's insane that I'm losing time, but it's, it's mainly because I have uh, that gold is wrong. We're not actually losing time here, we're still on pace. I, I forgot to remove the old uh, gold, so that, that's a thing. Fake gold, I guess I should say. Need to remove that. So we haven't got the pry bar yet. Bujdattaka. we can have the it spawn in random spots but I think for the most part it's set so once it if it mentions that it's gonna spawn I need to make sure that I uh, just avoid it because I died twice for no reason to the uh... so now we use the we use the pry bar here and then instead of having to go all the way around and just move up a little bit and then go down, and then the uh, this will be fixed. Now we get a lot one. Now we do the we trigger the uh, we're gonna trigger a uh, thing here by going. Uh, that happened. To level two, uh, this is where we'll get the robot to appear. The other, uh, which is why we've got Roundy as the split name, because that's the, uh, we've got to put that name in as the uh, option, which I forgot to split here as well for this, so I. Should have uh, probably removed some of the ones anyway, but it, it's it's fine because it's uh, this is better than what I had done before. So we're still gonna. Kuchka. Now we're gonna do the uh, basically just do a couple of things. With the... I I did get lost here again because I didn't go into the right area. Because there's a lighter, and then there's also the surface duct. Um, they take you to different areas. So this is the... Uh, we needed to send the lighter here, and go to level 2. Level 
time here because I'm, I'm making that mistake by uh, going to the. Uh... Now the behemoth will spawn. Behemoth will always spawn there, but we won't get caught because we're so far ahead. Uh, when we come back out of here, it will be to the top right, I believe. So we want to make sure we go a little bit far, uh, far enough so it triggers, but then uh, back so that it doesn't. Uh, oh my like god. This. We want to trigger it there, um, and then just go back in and out. Won't be there anymore, because it's, uh, I, I believe it's, uh, based on, uh... I think it's based on the position. Now we go, uh, into the... Uh, service duct, sorry. Do I need to use the portal right here? You can just go in here. So this is where we climb the ladder twice. So one. the service duct and not that hole because you've gone to the hole it doesn't count um, it's like two different areas um, so ask us about the communicator we always say the communicator let me go down a lot at once it's amazing if you just remember where you're supposed to do it Go in here, which is where the uh, the computer game is, and we play that. Which is where the boss is. The boss is very, very straightforward. It's uh, just down once, right twice, and you spam out Mesa Cannon until you win. Sometimes the boss can heal itself, which means you have to do Mesa Cannon. Sometimes it does not heal itself, and you can actually win with uh, another move. So ideally, you want to have like two Mesa Cannons and then no healing. Coffee, which I don't have a split for this because it's just this. I have a split for the end of the chapter, though. There's no point in having a split for 
just going to yeah, give him the coffee and then uh, thing when we basically are finishing the, the level. Alright, so I two chapters down. Two chapters down and no uh, noticeable, like, no noticeable mistakes. Don't split until uh, after we stop, Kido. That's right. Okay. Alright, I can save time here as well by not getting lost. Um, and then once I get to a certain point, I think I'm okay with remembering what I'm supposed to do. Uh, boss fights, I think, uh, also can be very consistent. So we do have time to save on those boss fights. Um, some of them anyway. But most of the time that I can save is going to be found in this first split. Because it's, most of it's just navigating the way through the... Navigating the way through the area. Uh, and, and also, like, maybe figuring out what I'm supposed to do with the skips properly, with the, uh, skipping these, uh, enemies, because I kept getting into fights. I think we're supposed to do that a little bit sooner. So there's a little bit more space. Uh, I think I might be past the second, the first guy, so I'm gonna follow the up. I hope that I'm at least past it, because that will save me something. Okay, there we go, we actually got it. We actually got it, we actually saved it. We actually got the, uh... We actually got through that. Alright, that's, uh, that's gonna... That, that's good. I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't know why I keep getting this way. Maybe I'm supposed to go up? Uh, through the area instead. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I skipped the uh, second fight there, so I, I, I know what I'm supposed to do for the first one. Before they get alerted, you want to do it. So you can just run through the area. So not too bad, like... Um, get that fight, but uh, I ran into that point mistake. Password should be river. Come on. This point. did this it was uh fine. You won't uh, be able to get us again. because um, he's already disabled on uh, uh, like the fight is disabled you can't actually uh do anything there. So movement wise not too bad. I'm actually maybe it's because I I just recently done it. See a few hiccups. But nothing that I've uh, where I'm just getting completely uh at least I remember which way I was supposed to go with some of the things. 
I need to change the note so it's not the it's the northwest double doors, not the north northern double double doors. chest. I think I went to the wrong side, didn't I? I actually went to the right side. Okay. Uh, then we hide from this guy. And we just basically stay hidden until, uh... I'm just gonna come in. Unlock the door, and then, uh... All these looking the other way. We... Uh, assuming we do not uh, go in the wrong spot, uh, we should never have to return. You can go there by mistake if you uh, want to show you that in a second. You want to grab this Kotetsu. Password doesn't matter because we're not using the password ever again. When I open the gates, we can get told uh, to move along. We choose to save very well the first time, then we uh, will fight them the second time. Say I will not, you get into a fight with them, but we want to get into a fight with them after we can deal with them a lot faster. Right, so here we use the storehouse key. First flight, first fight is always a... Uh... Photo slash... Times two. And then we do water spout, and then we do... Uh, water spout, and uh, for the next two fights, and then fire fall for the other... This is a little slow, but at least we got here without too, too much... Uh... Here. Water spout, which is what we're going to use in the next two fights. Grab the rice ball here. And then we want to grab the shuriken on the uh, first chest of the point. Fights and then the second lot of fights is uh, basically the same thing. So we uh, leave and then we come back to fight these again. So we get firefall. And we leave and come back. Fight the same three fights and then. Uh, pretty much on our way to, uh, it doesn't matter which order we fight them in, as long as we, uh, uh, fight them. My fall is... I'm going much, able to go much faster. That other 
I don't know what happened uh, last time, but we it just didn't fit. I, I, I was making a lot of mistakes. Uh, here we haven't really had that much of a trouble, but we've still got a long way to go. Certain things can still go wrong with the. Uh, but again, now that I know the uh, China chapter works the way that it does, uh, that's going to be very consistent. Because of the... Uh, uh, the China chapter is going to be very uh, consistent because of the... Uh, uh, knowing that I don't need to worry about... Uh, if I die in one of the fights, I can reload from the... Uh, it, it will just load me back from the, the previous fight, so... But, uh, I haven't died there yet, though, apart from the final fight. Do you want to fight them? So they get us another level up, and also this fight's very easy with Firefall. Alright, so we're going to split for the, uh... <laughs> Uh, minutes. Well, not four minutes, like a couple minutes. Just, just from knowing which way to go. I'm still not sure why he keeps catching us. I think I should have stayed to the bottom. Um, I've got to remember to enter this door. I, I've made this mistake every single time. Uh, if we're going to enter this door on the right, we want to go on the right side, not the left side. Because um, there are some enemies here. I think in terms of navigation, we should be okay. So we to here, we follow the guy. There's only like two items I need to remember to grab. Be very careful here if you go um you can see that these drop um if you go where i am like right now and don't stick to the left that drop there will take you back to where the prison was if you remember where we were for the uh, thing so grab this item wait for the thing again A lot of these fights are very consistent. Um, we don't need to go for leverage. Um, so th that's the biggest issue, and I, I, I've done all these in the past. Two items in this room. Both of them. So we can still save time in uh, the uh, trio fight, because I died twice. Then uh, hook set here. Now I'll hurry. So you must be able to get multiples of these because uh, there's you can once you've used one you can't use it again. Yeah, password doesn't matter because we're not using any areas with the password. We're heading straight to the. Uh... Just keep talking to this door. <laughs> Skipping the dialogue each time because uh, the
That's uh, the first one that that's not in the book. Considering I haven't made any mistakes in that second chapter for these things, apart from that boss. Uh, that is good. Stuff is just fairly straightforward. Just go to the, the next area and fight uh, the next set of bosses. We can save time here with the uh, not dying. Also by getting a good uh, where they spawn because it's essentially we just do the same thing with Shuriken Barrage. This is not a great spawn. Died several times. We actually have managed to survive. That was a longer fight, but uh, we survived, so that's all that matters. Uh, this fight is also, I think, very consistent. Um, it feels like we're d more consistent today than we were. Like, we're nine minutes ahead instead of like ten minutes behind. Um, so now we just do all the way up, sure. This is basically the same fight. We just do Shuriken sure Barrage warning shot uh, to interrupt his. Uh, he's gonna keep doing charge moves, so we want to interrupt the charge moves. Uh, we do Shuriken sure Barrage for damage, and then every time he's gonna do a move, it's a charge move. So we just interrupt him with a warning shot, and then he has to reset. So it's pretty much just mashing A until you win. Fastest like fight, but uh, we didn't die. So. But we're having to do more than one. Uh, Essentially, just uh, well, um, so this fight went by. Uh, we actually won in one shot. So uh, we did it in one shot last time. I don't know if we're gonna get it back. It's gonna be dependent on uh, suffering. So we can get the sleep, which is uh, actually better. Um, Uh, fine, actually. Oh, he's supposed to do Fusion Scroll. Sorry, that's a fucking mistake. Doesn't matter anyway. Uh, we, I, I forgot he was supposed to do Fusion Scroll. But we could have saved a bit of time. Actually, but, uh, last time I won it, we, we won it. That was my mistake. I should have done Fusion Scroll.
want to accept the uh, accept the main sash. This fight is also pretty consistent. It's just uh, use uh, use phantom butterflies and pass. Gets up to us, then uh, last time he did, uh, last time he did get up to us. There's also a chance that he can put the character to sleep, so uh, that also means that he wouldn't get it. He'd get one last time. We'll just end the fight early if we don't get a miss. Sometimes it will, um, it's basically the same thing, all the way right down the spot, uh, through the barrage, and then if it starts charging you a warning shot, it's not just pass. It'll depend on if you decide to, uh, sometimes something. It does a charging move in that side. Uh, most of the time it just moves itself back and forth. Determined up hits as well. That first time I only hit twice, uh, this time we're hitting uh, more hard. So yeah, uh, Imperial Trina we can save time by not dying in the final fight, also by not, um, uh, by just RNG, you know, so. Oh, this just feels like it's the opposite of, uh, the last one. Uh, where it's, it, we were just not... We were constantly behind for a long time. Whereas here, at least we've got a lot of, uh... I've made up a lot of that by just being better. Hey. Yeah, so that, so that, 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 that 10 minutes of time save isn't going to be there anymore because uh that was mostly just from me moving correctly moving from a uh, mo moving uh uh going the right way that's what i'm trying to say that's 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 the only reason like we saved a lot, so much on that and also some of the fights were um we didn't die um on them
Second option, first option. Yokaro. Was the first option? Say, oh no, never mind. It's the first option. It's first option, second option. I was supposed to do first option, second option. Uh, I, I, I even had that in my head about what I was supposed to do. So it's supposed to be first option, second option. I don't know why I said uh, second option. Who is you? He joins us regardless. If you say first option, second option, you don't join us. Especially since you don't gain anything from it, it's just me. If I somehow aim to, aim, aim, if I'm able to dodge the uh, tigers, it, you know, just, uh, every time I try, I keep getting caught. Uh, this time I actually dodged it. All right, uh, I guess because uh, I looked at where its position was. So it's gonna be there when I come back. I guess. Not really too concerned. We dodged it the first time, so uh, should be second option. Uh, I see this is the time loss We would have saved time by, uh, would have saved a, a, a lot of time by just doing that, uh, that uh, also, I think I made a mistake last time by uh, entering in the fight and put out, so actually, that, this actually just proves it was quicker for me to just do the fight and then having to reload everything to start. Okay. So now there'll be a tiger down here. I'm gonna be able to avoid this one, but at least we, uh, like, I, you know, nothing that much I can do. Obviously, you don't need to do the hump fight at all. You can just skip it. Grab the nature's pods and free to leave. Just need it for the next, uh. Oh, the next thing here. Yeah. This can also be uh, based on space. No right, so now we have all three pupils. Sorte. We have all three pupils, now we go and uh, train, which is 
Again, the, the, the biggest part of RNG in this whole entire uh, section here, because, uh... You either save time or lose time, essentially. So we're training the same person over and over again. We're training you, which is why it's the new training on both. And once you finish training here, uh... Basically, every time you're training, we're going all the way left, down a space, and then doing Y space to space to make it go as fast as possible. We want to make sure that whatever, uh, we want to make sure, obviously, the best option is to have both punches and kick moves disabled, which then means that we can just end the fight as fast as possible. It doesn't always go that way, so... Uh, that's essentially what we're, what we're having. It's all down to that, and you just keep repeating that the whole way through. Until we uh, thing, and if we get a move, it's RNG like we, against this. If we don't get a move, then uh, we obviously save some. And, uh, it's all up to chance. I'm not really in control of any of this. We can't do much about it. There he was going to do a kick move, so because we disabled the thing, then he we disabled the punch, so he can't do that either, so we, that, that's ideally what you would, would, would want. Except for the fight ending a little bit. Because usually they are over in about 2-3 hits. Uh, yeah, but, but that, that's still faster than what would normally happen, because if they are able to do their moves, we have to wait for the animations to go. Gotta wait for the animations to finish, and uh, then, uh, then have to wait. So even though that was a little bit slow because it's four moves, uh, it's, it's just better to after what's happening. Spamming A, and then the fight, and then doing the same thing. Skipping cutscenes whenever we uh, have the chance. Sorry, sorry. So there's nothing got, uh, nothing got disabled, so we have to wait for the uh, move to go through. Every time that happens, we lose like a couple of seconds. Thing on, so you can't really do about it, so you just uh, keep going and, and just hope that it's on the side. Oh. <laughs> And of course, every uh, time we defeat a character, they get a uh, physical defense up by five. The next one's like physical attack up by five, and then the other one is uh, speed up by five. Uh, for each different montage area in the different areas, um, and then also he's getting in general level ups um, that will eventually. Uh, Unfortunately, he got wise boxes away from us. That can also work against us, too. Um, it can work against us, too, where our uh, punches and kicks can be disabled, which means we have to wait a turn. Or just use another move. Let's 
two moves in a row. This is the kind of thing that I mean. Like, if we were able to stop him from doing anything, he would have, uh, he would have been fine. But then he gets two moves in a row. Sometimes you just can't, like, uh, you can't win. Some, some, uh, segments are a little, uh, harder than other ones. Like, there we did one move, if, uh, if we just didn't have a disable, so... He got to do two moves. Sometimes you are a little slower on the turn. And also their positioning as well as, uh... Their positioning as well is also, uh... Thing, like, sometimes I'll be further away, other times they will, uh... Be close like this. So. There's so much stuff that can go right or wrong in sections. I think uh, obviously the uh, you want ideally you want every fight to go with them having blocks, um, or at least blocking the attacks that they were going to do. Uh, but if you can't have that, then just uh, like fast fights where they can't do anything. まだまだじゃ。しかないのか。もうこの知恵を持って敵を封じる。まだまだこれからあと。お願い。来なさい。Grace on us, which then uh, Vice Fox's Grace, I believe, requires both uh, punch and kick. So, uh, if any of those get a disable, then we have to basically reset our own turn. Um... This is the last of the three. I, I don't split on the training montage until after we get back into being able to play because there's still scenes that happen. Uh, there's still scenes that happen. Um, so I'm to move. Uh, I'm supposed to be Lost Versus Grace. That, that's the main thing. So we don't finish the. There's still like training montage stuff that happens in cutscenes that I I wait until after all that's done before I uh complete it, I guess. Huh, <sighs> Atosan? 
It's, it's been a... I, I, I think this is a fine... Like, there's not much you can change with this, it's just whatever the game hands you. What's the space in between... Uh, what's the space between you and the character? What's the... Uh, what moves are... Being, uh, are you being hit with white box of grace and having your move disabled? Uh, when they are doing their moves, are they... Uh, when they're doing their moves, are they uh, you know, disabling you? Are they getting any moves at all? Are they... Which moves are they using? Are you getting the, you know, uh, white box of grace uh, disabled? Uh, on, on stuff. Like, so many things that can and will go wrong. That are out of your control. Sorry, sorry. Kino Sai. See there, he uh, he might have used a, a hit, which then means it resets his uh, turn uh, to have to be another chance of doing something. I'm not sure what the chances are of getting a uh, getting all those to happen. Uh, but you can see we're losing a little bit of time here, just because of not ideal fights. Um, but th it's it's not going to be con you're going to lose time probably regardless of what what you do. Uh, in, in this section one way or another, depending on what your luck is. We, we did have some bad rounds. Uh, but we also had some very good rounds. You can just see how uh, a couple of bad fights with like them disabling the moves or... Um, them getting more moves, it can just cost you a second. Like, 34 seconds on it. 34 seconds because of just a uh, RNG. And obviously that wasn't even the worst that you could get. You could, you could have even worse uh, one. Or you could have a better one. So it's, a, it's just one of those things you can be prepared to lose or gain time. Obviously we're much farther ahead than what we were. So, so the first one we can skip, but the other ones you have to just mash A through. This is, this is again another fight that is, uh, if they're in the right position or they, and all stuff gets disabled, we uh, can, I think last time this was a two uh, thing fight. So we're just hoping for the same thing. Both like it's not. Uh, he decided to do a uh, another move. So not as fast. So we, had, we did a counter, which is still, so that's all slower.
that's why we were losing time. Okay. Gaining time this way. I think the, uh, the splits that are showing on my screen are like the best splits that I've had hey. of each individual split. Uh, which is probably Got why I, I need, I'm not sure how to change it. I want it to be... I want my uh, PB time to be the time so of the wave, which is like the full run, and then I want my uh, so uh, things to reflect that. Mm. So I think what I have to do is do something else, but I mean, I'm fine running up against the... Uh, uh, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, because if I beat the PB at the end, uh, that's uh, what I'm looking at. I'm looking at the final time. So even though we're like 11 minutes ahead, we might not be 11 minutes ahead in the uh, general scheme of things. We'll see how we are in when we get to the last one, because that's the only one that I've done full run for, which is where it comments the most. So pretty much from like, I think, Equipment 2. Equipment 2, I think, is where the uh, splits should align back up again. Tigers here because the uh, here. Fight here. 
Does that count as one fight? It counts as two separate fights. This fight here, we can go and, uh... Oh, my sound is starting to... I need to fix my sound. I'm going do that now. Uh, so did I forget something? Hang on a second, I'm just gonna fix the, uh, sound. Because the sound is going stupid. Now that I'm in a speed run, but, like, I can't have the sound going like that. Uh... I also forgot to equip you with the martial arts book. Needs the scroll of martial arts. Uh, and also, uh. Here we go. I think it's later we run the fourth one. So this fight here, we want to go, uh. I'm saying I'm gonna get is if we have better fights or uh, end the farm boss. Lucy. Uh, this fight's always been uh, very good. Come 
ちbecause of the stun and then also this this one also went by perfectly because of the uh, uh, this went perfectly because of the paralyze no one got any attacks uh, so so far so good uh, also I, I realized that I, I, we died in these fights that we reload from the previous uh, fight so it'll be just little time saves or time losses here I think if we uh, make mistakes Sometimes they just uh, can do a lot of damage, but if they get into a good position, sometimes you can get uh, both of them at the same time.
It's like how the previous fight was two hours right on the, uh... Right on the dot. We saved time because we're off the, uh, again... Saving seven seconds because one guy couldn't do any attacks. This one's very similar to the other one, except we just do uh, my friend's fight on the second. I mean, Sid. Okay, the process there is good. Ago, so I think it will uh, let us continue from the, that fight. Yeah. Okay. So that's every any time we die in, in these fights, it will let us continue. That's unfortunate. We lost. We're gonna lose some time here because of that. Uh, something I'm doing wrong in this fight. I'm not sure. I, I, I thought it was position. Also, we might have been lucky. Yeah, we didn't get. Uh, see, there he's completely disabled. We got a paralysis on one guy and the, uh, nothing on the other one, so. Yeah. Gotta keep, uh... And we were losing time even if we, uh... We were losing time even if we did not, uh... Even if we did, we were already at that point. So... Not a lot that can be done. At least this time we have, um, uh, uh, our chief we won't have as much damage, uh, done to him as before, because that was, was like, that was the mistake the last time, is that he could do more damage, but at least here we've got rid of one guy, and then, uh, the second one is, uh, almost dead. And actually surviving is good. Yeah. There go, that's actually really good. Alright, even though we took a death, we uh, got quite the second attempt. We still uh, have time to save in the final fight of this though, because of the... Uh... Oh, that one. Uh, I guess what I should have done is I should have uh, healed. But... Um, I thought the fight was going to be over. That's why I didn't heal. Alright, this one here, it, uh, should, it, okay, they're in the good spot as well, so we're gonna go left three, up two, and then we can hit all three of them with the wise monsters. Well, uh, sometimes the enemy on the right can be one space to the right, and she won't get hit by the wise monsters race. So, 
Don't you fear is with the owners as you ice brands right on the uh, enemy to the bottom left. She's vulnerable to ice and then he gets the sword. Takes care of the other two. <laughs> Ideally at the same time, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Sometimes it, you can take care of the uh, other one. Uh, and then that obviously you don't have to receive it from there. So, uh, Ipei Ku, uh, last time that we actually did uh, really well against him, he, we, we got a paralysis off and he kind of just was meandering around. Still saved a time on that fight, despite. Omigoto. Interesting. I thought that went by slower. Sorry, sorry. That missing is not great. Racing turns uh, moving, that at least uh, means I can get uh, like a little bit faster. Uh, I don't have access to my reviews. Several types of sandwiches um, as healing items, actually. Um, not this game, though, I don't think. We don't have time to make the sandwiches because uh, we don't have time time to make them because uh, we are uh, trying to be fast. Not uh, not doing a sandwich. Either. So right to uh, feather. But I have to be very, very careful about <laughs> Right there, you can follow us. I think what I'm supposed to do is not let him follow us. Otherwise, I think moving down is not that bad. Might be able to deal with this. Sure. He's gonna do a move and then he'll move, we move up. Okay. Then we do the uh, heavenly heat. I don't think I'm in range for a move to be here. I cannot actually. There's also a chance that this fight can end with this one. Okay, we are okay, I believe. Yeah, we think we're okay. So I'm gonna do a piece of Yeah, okay, good. No mind, that went that went perfectly. We're we're completely fine, we don't worry about that. Alright, that's uh four chapters down. Four chapters down, four more to go. That went really, really well. But, uh, 
Oops, you are doing well. Ah, uh, Berlin. We're trying to be very fast here, so... Why am I not training as much? Oh, I'm concentrating on the... We'll see how far we can get. Like, there's, there's, unfortunately, there's no sandwich in this game, though. It's only, you know... I do have a game that has them, though. Um, you just find them randomly in, in places and use them as uh, healing items. And you can buy them as well from... Uh, Replay the mission. Uh, we want to fight the. Uh... Yeah. So overall, we lost 20 seconds or of time in uh, China, but that was, I think, mostly because of just bad RNG. Well, we did have a death, so I could have actually saved some time there. Right, this one is uh, really fast, though. Um, if we get the right fight skips, and if I don't mess up the uh, the boss fight. Okay. Uh, also, but we're also under RNG as well because of uh, we have to learn moves from these characters, and sometimes they don't want to use them. They don't want to uh, help us learn the moves. We're moving until we uh, hit us with fleet foot, and yes, this has missed before, so. Uh, we didn't learn it last time. Uh, now we've got Fleet Foot, we just keep using Fleet Foot. Uh, we hope that he doesn't, uh... Uh, that is the second or third time that that's missed now. Uh, upset. That's, uh... Really? I missed another one. That is two, two misses in a row. Alright, there goes the time loss for that because of what's going on. Just, ju just because of uh, two misses there, obviously we lose time. Again, as I said, we're at the mercy of... You uh, win! We're at the mercy of... Uh, Same thing for this fight. Last time this went perfectly. Okay! Uh, last time this went perfectly, we, uh, okay. he, he didn't do Max Bomber, we got German Suplex immediately, and we killed them, so, uh, we need that to be replicated here. So, yeah. Eight, uh, please put eight times, Bail Strike, and then, uh, occasionally we will do Not the first two. Every time we do fleet foot, we want to turn around so he doesn't uh, move closer to us. Four. Move. He 
he's on one on one we so we just Here keep spamming out the for until uh we win. Right, that was a slower one. He didn't turn it, turn as many times as he wanted. It took a little bit more. Okay. Still okay. Still okay though. You win. is uh, okay. so just left three and then uh, left three and then uh, what is it called uh, German suplex twice the next two fight uh, the next three fights are the annoying ones this one's like freebie sometimes great Aja will not give you the uh, Shula Han can sometimes uh, something just miss uh, and with uh, obviously the final fight, if you aren't paying attention to the fleet foot combo uh, with the uh, thing, you can do uh, DDO on you, and then that ends the fight. You win. Great Archer. Okay. Uh -oh. We need to move left three spaces and then keep changing the direction until he gets his move. He does make him sign it, so that's uh, good. And then we just do flip for twice. Are we gonna learn? Uh, going to learn the move and then uh, just do flip foot until we uh, hopefully turn it around so we get the extra move. Yeah, a, lot, a lot of these fights are consistent. Like, if, if, obviously, if the Sucker Morabe didn't miss, we would have been okay. Every other fight so far, uh, it gets outside of Chucky Art, you'd be okay. Uh, uh, it's been pretty much the same. Right, this is the uh, this okay. fight I've never had go right. Uh, actually, no, I did have it go right. Uh, even though he did moves on us, uh, we did hit Frankenstein twice and end the fight a turn earlier, but uh, he, he did counters, which obviously we don't want because we have a chance of playing the moves. All the way up, left pass. Uh, left three spaces, Frankenstein twice. Obviously, we wanted to miss or us to not learn it. Uh, at least he didn't do cross uh, lock or whatever. But I think he hold. Now we're at the point where uh, we can't so I'll do fleet foot to pass the uh, fleet foot anyway. This is slow. This is a sort of slow, uh, slow fight. I should have just passed, but I need to cover Not a good cool one this time. Yeah, we're saying that you can as long as you don't really want to use. Alright, and this fight. Why is it not losing time? But it's not up yet. Anyway. But again, I think this is on my best goal. So I must have had a much worse fight uh, on my uh, other uh, thing. All right, Odio. We can save time on Odio because uh, 
Ah, uh, we died. We died the second, uh... I can't skip any of this. We died the second attempt, uh, the first attempt, and then the... Oh, actually, no, we, uh, almost did the entire fight the first time. But we died on the, uh, second attempt. See the charge move, dude. That's why I need to remember. We uh, did uh, stun him a little bit. We did stun him a little bit differently. <laughs> <laughs> you might be okay, okay because of the extra damage, though. Um, you might be okay because of the extra damage that we're doing with some of these counter moves. Uh, it might push us a little bit closer, but obviously we lost time overall. Maybe. So here is the uh whenever you see him charging you wanna make sure you do this break the uh interruption. So every time we see that we wanna do that. So uh Frankenstein and German suplex. Which means I don't have to redo the fight, so we should save a good amount of time here, I think. Uh, yeah. And then, uh, obviously, like, we did a little bit of extra damage because of the, the counters, but that also cost a lot of time because it was kind of taking longer. Uh, I was supposed to split a bit earlier. It's supposed to split when the, uh, it's supposed to split when the first flash happens, but. Uh... Alright, so then now we've got prehistory, which, uh, I think for the most part is the only. Like yeah. RNG chapter that's left for the thing, because uh, Wild West is pretty much just making sure that we do the right, go to the right areas. the first try, that's like a 50-50 chance you keep having to guess until you uh, get all the items, and then uh, now we go to the shop and we craft all those objects that we need, so uh, 
craft a bunch of objects. Oh, weapons and certain armor that we need. Um, so the first thing you do is you do bone plus uh, bone plus hard rock. We'll make the stone knife. And you do the stick plus the stone knife. Uh, which makes the quick spear. You then leave the store, unequip the bone, put the quick spear on, and then uh, go back to the. Uh, go back to the shop and then do the bone plus the. Uh, oh. so especially beast things and dried skin. Mm. So we want to use the laughing mask on the feral pups. to get some, uh, uh, lots of damage stuff here. It's bad, because they're not in great positions. Um, fortunately, they moved closer to me. So, slow. So we want to have three fight spawns, and then once we've got the three fights, we then head back to the area. And then that's pretty much it. That's all we have to really do. Uh, ideally, you want feral pups because they give you a lot more, uh, they give you a lot more level up. Hopefully the one that's uh, on the top left comes down. This might be the one. That's uh, all three. And now it's just the pre warrior fight. So we're losing a little bit of time here because of the uh, thing, but we did get a level up, so that might actually help out. 
<laughs> Plus seven seconds, but uh, I think we could do. Uh, we didn't get the greatest of uh, locations for no, uh, the greatest of locations for when they were in the fight. We just continue on like we were. Ah, we're doing it. Everything here is pretty much just uh, follow the, the orange diamond and do whatever it's asking you to, to do. Poke the haystack until, uh... Poke the haystack until, uh, we... Like, uh... Until, uh, we've found her in all the other all the options. Ha <laughs> 
to the... <clears throat> now we're coming to the Crew Warriors slash Zaki one fight. Uh, again, I, I don't know what... Uh, every time I've done the first... The, the Crew Warrior fight, it's not ever gone the way that it's supposed to go, so I'm just hoping that it isn't bad.
What's up, dude? It's not gonna be accurate. Anyway. We're gonna slay for the Tree Warrior fight. This fight went. Sometimes the final splits are accurate. We wouldn't have lost that much time anyway. Like, uh, the, the Zaki 1 fight went basically where it was supposed to go. Uh, but then I forgot to split for the coup fight, so I'll just, uh, I can just erase that if need be. If need be. Although it's not gonna matter anyway, because my PB will be this. Assuming we still maintain the same, uh. Assuming that we still maintain the. Uh, this means that this, uh, so we actually, we actually do get a fight spawn here. Uh, every other time I've been here, we haven't had a fight spawn, so this is the first. Alright, so the Kuba Warrior split is a bit inaccurate. Uh, we split it part way through the, uh, thing. I'll just, uh, I can remove the time. Or I can just erase the time that it's currently the uh, name for it, maybe. Uh, Zeki 2 and 3 were very accurate, though. though. So just want to be faster at it. Same thing. So get, if he moves, uh, if, if he doesn't move, you move to the right. If he does move, uh, fly back. You. Uh... If he does fly back, then you uh, stop, change direction, and move to. This is, uh, we did have a bad auto fight though. Um, we nearly died, but. Uh, we nearly died against Odo, but. Um, that's the first time that's actually ever happened. Yeah, Zaki 3 was very consistent though. Spawn in here. Usually don't get one anything in here. Two of them, really? Okay. So we got two fight spawns in here and one in the uh, one in the area that I have before, so. Now we're just uh, I don't know what I don't know what's going on now with this. Uh. Oh, it's not like here, is it? That's I'm always too far to the left. Uh, before I was too far to the right. You're gonna get at least one. I, I I don't think you can get through the entire area without at least maybe one or two. Anything more than that is probably bad. But we've already had two fight spawns in the mine and one out uh, before we even got to the the mine in the first place. So, the cave, I should say.
for me from the point here, but apart from that, it's uh, I also don't know why uh, they, uh, I think we can avoid it by uh, already being, being in the way. Okay, Sometimes it just depends on the position of where they spawn. Uh, this time it was uh, in a good spot. And Zaki 3 is uh, not hard at all. Uh, it's the exact same thing that we did uh, in Zaki 2, except we just uh, have a higher chance of dying. Because sometimes he can get a uh, an attack off, but uh, it is, it is, we might actually be fine because we do get to level up. Uh, but I think it's a, every other time I've done this uh, so far, it's been uh, pretty good. Down three, left two, and then we just do the shenanigans. Keep doing that. See, we're lo I'm losing time on this for some reason, but I'm losing some time. Right, change direction down to. I'm losing time already to this. Uh, to this. He's not flying back either, which is not a good sign. Running out of land as well. I think that's the fight spawns so that I'm losing time to. I, I didn't get a. I, I, I got two fight spawns where I, uh, three fight spawns where I hadn't before, so that might be where that's uh, coming in. Here's the end of the fight. All right. Now we have to do. Uh, we nearly died in this fight, but I think it was because of my bad positioning because I made a mistake by not doing something. Everyone moves right first, except for Zaki who moves all the way left. Yeah. 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 Same mistake again. So, uh, and then we should just fly this at the Uh, 
I'm losing time overall. Not because of those fights. So I didn't lose any time there from my old uh, uh, TV, I guess, because the fight went perfectly well at the time, so we've done this for a second. It's like I'm losing, uh, I'm losing time overall because of the boss fight. Uh, not sort of the boss fight. Losing time because of the Ku Warriors fight, death, the um, and then like some of those fight spawns. That's probably where it's going. Well, we're still ahead of where we were. We're like still twelve minutes ahead of. Uh, yeah. So still, uh, we, we lost, like, time in that split because of the, uh, several things going wrong, but we're still, uh, very much ahead. And we can still save time here as well by not making mistakes with the, uh, ambush setup and, uh, if the fight goes the way it's supposed to go. And just remembering which way I'm supposed to go. Because everything else everything else is fairly easy to remember here. So we're definitely gonna get a run done today. I'm hoping that it does PP though. Get a so that way I have a because I right now I have to dedicate like right now I have to dedicate uh Right now I have to dedicate like almost six hours to finish the run, but if I get the run below uh, five and a half, it means it goes from like 5.45 to 6 to 5.30, so I'll have a little bit more time to be able to uh, do other stuff. I don't know why I have a... some of these splits. I, I get... The Bad Dog one makes sense, but the, this one here, I think I just put it here because it's... Uh, the, the fight always goes the same each time, so... I don't think you can ever, like, have this go wrong. I think I just put it in there because there's so few points. I like the idea of having... Uh, I think I think I put it in there just so I could have something to split. Because uh, otherwise... Uh, so I can get used to where I was going to be splitting. Alright, so now we leave, we come back, and then we talk to everyone from the west around. Uh, and then we uh, do the ambush setup, which is the same as every time. Unfortunately, I can't show the ambush setup uh, scene, but uh, it is uh, a really good one. Don't forget. Oh, um, I'm supposed to, uh, talk to Billy first. 
Talk to Billy, get the slingshot. Then we can take it. Right, Sheriff's office first, just to the east here. I'm gonna try and do this without points. Uh, just to remember. The only thing I need to remember is, uh... So, stick a dynamite here, Peacemaker. And then we do Mad Dog Recommended Equipment here. Let's go to the top one. Actually, no, let's go to the top I think I forgot to grab the button before, didn't I? Let's see what I can do. I actually don't remember. Uh, I think I got it. I grab the item, so I think I got the button for it. That should be everything. Shot, Sheriff of the Dynamite, and uh, the girl with the frying pan. Everything else can just be uh, given to anyone. Well, no, no, Sheriff wants dynamite. So we want to give. Give him the dynamite. Really, the slingshot, even though he gave it to us, but we can give it back to him because. Uh, so, the way that every character has their own weapons that they're good at, but uh, we want to make sure Annie gets the flying pan. Uh, everyone else, it doesn't matter what we give them, so uh, we just go from the right. We just go from the right. Uh, I found out last time that uh, the reason it didn't work is because I gave the flying pan to someone else, so. Everyone else that's here doesn't matter. And you don't need to give the mariachi band anything. Um, you just keep uh, and what's gonna happen is uh, wanna do it. Uh, what's gonna happen is uh, they get it's gonna be like a magnificent seven style uh, cutscene. Uh, obviously we have to skip it, but uh, what's gonna happen is uh, it's like with late Traps. Uh, we've laid the traps for the. We've laid the traps for enemies, so they're going to uh, uh, fall for them. Uh, the Odeo fight is determined based on uh, which gives them. So obviously, giving people certain things will mean that there's only thing in the Odeo fight for our scenario. 
Uh, there's only gonna be him and uh, the uh, him and one duck problem. So that's pretty much it. We've done the ambush yeah. setup. So now uh, we're not gonna split until after. Ah, uh, this is finished. And then we have the ODO fight. So, so. I'm not gonna push the split until after we have uh, things. So, uh, 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 basically what happens is you go around the area, you pick up as many items as you can within the time, and then what you want to do is you come back to here, say that you're ready, give everyone their best recommended equipment, and then uh, by giving them the equipment they will uh, also... Uh, by giving them the equipment they will... Um, by giving them the equipment that they are uh, good with, uh, it will deal with more of the enemies. So I think when I played it normally, uh, I gave the wrong equipment to the thing, or maybe they didn't have enough time to be able to set everything up, because uh, each person setting up a different thing takes, uh, it takes uh, a little bit longer, uh, depending on what it is. But, uh, here it will always take the same amount of time, but we just yeah. keep saying to boring forest drinks because we need to make time go by. We need to make time pass. So awesome. And we have the Duck Brother fight, which, um, not the audio fight, which, uh, if I get it in the right position, everything should yeah, be good. Yeah. But, uh, we'll just see how much, uh, sometimes, uh, if he targets one enemy, it's bad, but, uh, other times it's, uh, so, yeah. it doesn't really matter anyway if, uh, Certain characters die because uh, we can. Uh, as long as we win the fight, it's okay. So we're not going to get any levels from Sundown in this area, and also we're not going to get levels from uh, Thing in here either. So that's the ambush setup done. And then this is when the audio. I, I, I put ambush setup is there because that's where the split is, and then this is the ODO fight, which um, obviously that's the uh, the only fight about to happen. Mado. Mochiron da. So there should only be one Dutton brother and ODO. You want the Dutton brother to get hit. Uh, and then he should do a counter. Actually, usually he uh, does a counter but then kills the player. So now we have to. What happens is he doesn't do beautiful charge there, he does, uh, he hits us with something. Again, that would have been okay if I was able to do um, hollow point to break his uh, thing there, but now we're now we're losing time for this. Yeah, usually what's supposed to happen is that uh, enemy is supposed to uh, the Dutton brother is supposed to die and say he decided to heal, which then meant I had to take some time to I had to take some time to 
kill that with the other enemy, uh, kill that with Sundown and move him to the area. And, uh, that also then just allowed for, uh, him to do his special move, which we lost our chance for. So now we have to do the ambush setup all over again. It's been faster to just, uh, load this and die in the fight. So now we, uh, now we have to, so we're gonna lose a lot of time here. Because I have to redo the entire, uh, entire thing of this again. Okay, and if he, uh, what's supposed to happen there is, uh, the Dot Brother does a... The Dot Brother does a, uh, you're supposed to attack us, meaning Sundown, and then Sundown will always counter with Thor that and kill them. Um, but in this case he decided not to do that, he decided to heal himself, which then I mean, uh, which then means that I have to spend the time to... Uh, fight him, which then costs us precious movement time to get into position. Just getting, being in the right position there is going to be uh, uh, detrimental. Uh, but because what I had to do was uh, fight him, I had to then, uh, I, I was then like two spaces not far enough to the left to be able to start uh, doing what I would normally do when he was able to uh, get rid of. Uh, that charge move will kill either character. Unfortunately, like, Sundown wasn't going to be able to win the fight by himself because it would take a lot longer. And we don't have any way to heal ourselves if we have healing items. Unfortunately, we lost a ton of time there for that. Should still be. Okay, yeah, we 30 minutes of safety. It'll be noticeable. That should be everything. It will be noticeable, but uh, we did also stuff up uh, our other. Yeah. We did stuff up the other time, so. Go back and split again because we've already. It's just going to mean that the audio split's going to be a uh, thing, but we did die in the. Uh, we did make several mistakes in the audio fight, so if we can get it done this uh, quickly this time, we should be still around the Ikuzo, same amount. We we'll, we'll lose some time, but we should be around the same. Uh, thing. But outside of that, like, uh, again, I, that just means I can come back here and save in more time. Might have also been because Odio moved. Uh, uh right? Might have also done something. Yeah. Uh, 
Like most of those missed. Okay, now we just do hollow point plus uh, hollow point and uh, shoot a bug. Everything's missing here. Uh, this is a another something is something's not right. Something is not going right with this. I don't know if I can win the fight. Something's not going right with uh He's, he's doing his super move. Like... So there goes the thing again, but we've, we've died twice now, so. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this. He shouldn't be doing Gatling for a while. I think we're not doing as much damage. We're not doing as much damage. Like, all those shots just kept missing. And me uh, being able to interrupt his uh, thing didn't help. It's just not... Um, something's not, not right. That's two deaths now to the same thing. And, and that, time, should it, that time it was correct. Because, uh... Yeah... I guess we're supposed to move away from him, maybe, but I, I, I don't, I don't think that's uh, correct either because of the. Uh... I hate when like something like this happens because now, we're, like, you can see that we're losing time because this is two deaths in this now, um, and now we're losing the time that we would have saved up for everything else. Just this one stupid area. Yes, I know that I could save that as well, but like, you can't do that every single time. That's why I'm uh, not saving that. Oh, I'm going to save one more time. Oh, I'm going to save one more time. Nanyoshikagesasu. Shikage いっぱいくれ。
一杯くれ一杯くれところがた一杯くれ So that's why I'm saying I can't like uh, I could make a save and that would mean that I don't lose the progress going forward, but uh, it, it, like you can't if you get it right the first time you don't have to do the save every time. So that's that's what I'm trying to say. Like I, I could have made a save the first time and that would have uh, thing, but if you get it right the first time, then uh, you don't have to make that save and we don't have to waste that time. So. Um, I still have a time I can save later, I guess. So let's just, uh, let's just keep going forward, I guess. No. Save a lot of time here, but we're only not going to save a lot of other time here elsewhere. Considering how uh, well everything else has gone. Oh, 
to see how much time is at, at the end. We can make definitely make. Uh, There goes like all the. Like, we, we were 12 minutes ahead in the previous uh, one, and now we're 5 minutes ahead. And just from stuffing up that fight for some reason. Uh, maybe the second time I could have won, but the first time I uh, thought we were, uh, we, did, we were doing not very much damage. I think I was supposed to move. Uh, I think I was supposed to move. I think I was supposed to move, uh, a little twice. But then if I shot him forward, I would have done the thing anyway, so... I'm not entirely sure. That could hit me all the way from there. Stops are gonna be slow, but I did not realize that it could hit me all the way from that point. I should have just gone from the point behind it. Now I've lost time because of the poison as well. Doing less damage. It's really annoying that I'm uh, making stupid mistakes. save time from this these sections here is just getting uh uh the the good fights uh like getting the raging bears sooner so we don't have to grind in the uh, uh thing as well uh knowing that i can beat armstrong with uh, uh in the uh, cave as well probably that's basically basically where i'm going to save a little time Sometimes I get that audio fight and it's, uh, it's really good, uh, it, it, it works, and then like that first time he, uh, the first time the Dutton Brother survived, so that was, uh, the issue there was that I was going to lose anyway because, uh, uh, what ended up happening in that case was, uh, I had to move forward twice and do a move, and then that move, uh, was... Uh, that particular move uh, then meant that uh, I was two turns behind for when I moved to the left point. The left point pushed him forward and then it allowed him to be able to do uh, others. Because I moved forward once uh, to get into the position that I would need to be in. And then, uh, so the first one was probably just that. The second one was probably my fault. I think I made a. Uh, I was supposed to not. Uh, but, and also, we did do less damage uh, with the. The other I didn't do as much damage with that as I did with the other. 
So I think it's only fight spawns and uh, things here that I can do much with. Let's go from like 13 minutes to 5 minutes. Just because we failed two fights. Uh, and then now I have to do better in... Now I'm gonna do better in like everything else. Having that 30 minutes would have been really good because I'm gonna put it closer to a five and a half. I'm just gonna grab this now. Sorry, I forget. Just un it's just unfortunate that uh, that's what occurred because of the like, was... Again, I'm, I, I'm, I wanna do more once of this, but if it's gonna take me six hours, I'm gonna at least. Uh... I'm just hoping to get it down a little bit. Maybe I still have a lot of time to save you.
had one bear encounter. Uh, although the, uh... The we need Kasei in the party, which we're going for now. Um... Basically, on... We want to... Before we fight the Lord of the Dark, we want to be level... 5. I think 4 or 5? So to get there, we obviously have to fight a bunch of bear encounters. Um, if we do get more of them, it's probably also beneficial to do that in... Uh, which no, it's not. We, uh... I guess it would save time later if we got bear. Anytime we get a bear encounter that we can fight, we should uh, take it because it uh, will give us the. Uh, uh, it will give us the uh, uh, level ups. We need level ups in uh, both portions of this chapter. Guess I also could have made a split in between, uh, like, I could have made splits for, uh, Finding the other party members, but I, I didn't think it was necessary because all we're pretty much doing is just going. The, we're not doing any fights, so if they're doing fights, it's going to make a difference. If they're not doing any fights, then uh, you yeah. know. If we're doing fights, then it's going to make a difference. But uh, if we aren't, then I, I could have. Uh, I, I know I did it for the other. Uh, now we need to, uh, where am I going here? We just made it to the summit, uh, so we need to do equipment, uh, get rid of, remove Ice Helm, give you the Brion Sword, and give us, uh, replace the Gnomic Sword with the Sword of Marvels, uh, Where did I do? Did I knock up the sword of marbles? Yeah, where is it? Did I? Uh, I, I don't think I forgot it. So we're going to pass it into uh, one. Did I forget the Sword of Marvels or something? I don't think I did. Swap Passe and... What's the... Uh, and... Let's step a straight there. Examine the rock, remove ice hammer, swap with you. 
have to go in southwest of the place, so maybe I have to go and leave the area. Because I, I, I forgot. Uh, this is the point where we need to start getting the uh, fights to spawn. So we want raging bears or arm um, Place Axiom Sword with Brion and I'm going southwest. Maybe I need to exit something. I, could, I, don't, I don't remember picking up the Sword of Marvels. Unless it's got to come from something else. Something that I'm seeing is mentioning about the Sword of Marvels. Seeing anything that's, I, I grabbed the defender, but I don't have the sort of mark, so I'm not sure why I haven't got that. Yet. So I'm supposed to already have it. So it could be based on the level, like, I don't know. Maybe we can't put certain things on if we don't have them level. But I'm looking at my notes and I don't see anything it mentions about these sort of marbles. I might just have to go without it until uh, I absolutely need to use it or something, but I. Probably shouldn't worry about it right now. Um, I need it for the second part, but I'll need it for the first part we don't have to worry about. So now we have to grab the defender, which I grab the defender. So we're gonna have say grabbing the shield. All the top uh bottom brass we grabbed. Pretty sure I grabbed all the bottom grass. That's right, I sound like I just don't have the uh, sword of marvels, so maybe I. Maybe it's a drop from an enemy that we didn't face? I. I, I just might not have got it. Hopefully, it doesn't make any difference. We haven't had any luck with any of the points. We didn't get any Armstrong and oh, you can see an Armstrong here. I didn't get any bear fight. I got one bear fight the entire way and couldn't fight him. Pass everyone. Uh, I'll just only voice because it comes everything in case of this is something but Kevin the strike is everything. The sort of marbles is gone, it's just not. I, maybe I just don't know. Sweet. 
something, so, uh, so I, I might not have it, or I might have to get it later, or it's supposed to be a drop for something else. But, uh, I, I have not, uh, that's the first time I have not had the sort of marbles in my I'll check to see it. Uh, I'll check after every fight just in case it has something to do with levels, but no idea. Maybe I'm just supposed to be. I'm not sure if it's like a guaranteed drop or anything. It's not in my uh and it's like you we, we didn't grab it from any other uh I can't drop it from any other place because it's uh... So I've missed... I don't have the sword for me. Hopefully it doesn't matter when I get to the second part, but probably will. I don't know where this sort of Brion's come from. I don't, know sort of I don't know where the uh where we are supposed to get the Specialist is not mentioned at all in the uh guide here. I don't know where I'm supposed to get this uh replacement for the I got the Axiom sword. But it, I need the sort of marbles which I always have. Now it's just not So you get to level 5. make a difference in the thing, but I, I feel like it's going to, because we're going to be doing less damage. I guess if I don't get it by the time that I, uh, if I don't get it by the time that I need it for stuff, I'll just equip another, I'll equip a better sword, I'll, I'll, I'll equip a, one of the other swords then, like, I don't have the sort of marbles, so I'll just equip, if I don't have it by the time that I, uh, uh actually need it, 
Probably gonna do that anyway because we have a. I have to do recommend equipment anyway, so it might be fine. I need one more encounter, but uh, it should be okay. It should be, uh, Last time I did this fight, uh, it actually, uh, I, I, I didn't get hit with uh, the movement by just keeping everyone in the same spots, um, for some reason. For some reason, uh, like, the Thunderclap didn't, uh, like, I think we knocked him back. Hmm? Real 
Save time there because we didn't die uh, as well, and also it seemed like we were doing more damage. Uh, I don't know if I could go quite faster because it'd be uh, a thing, but positioning wise, because it knocked everyone away. Uh, I'm, again, I, we have to do recommended equipment at this point uh, anyway, so it's probably going to give me whatever the best sword is, uh, regardless. I still don't have the sword of Marvel, so I don't know what I did if, if I somehow missed. I don't know if I somehow missed the sword of Marvels or I just didn't get it as a drop. I do not have it in my thing, so it's gonna replace whatever uh, we have here, man. So now we have to go around and just uh, grab all of the different uh, items. Grab all the different items on in preparation for the other one. We might do less damage, that's the only issue. Um, if I don't have the Sword of Marvels on, but it might change. I, I, I haven't checked since I've uh, done this. If, uh, uh, I haven't checked since we've. Uh, I've always had the Sword of Marvels, so I haven't checked to see how that spawns, and I also haven't checked the... I also haven't checked to see... Uh, I haven't checked to see if the... Uh, recommended equipment that we do at this point would change it to something else anyway, so it might not be a big deal. It might, uh, might not be a problem at all. It might not be a problem at all.
So from this point now, we're gonna fight us a lot of world guards, uh, and uh, we need to get to level six prior to uh, fighting the first of the four phobia bosses, which is our uh, claustrophobia, which I can save time on because the first time we did make a mistake and I died, so um, as well.
One enemy is quicker to do crushing blow twice. Uh, if there's multiple enemies, it's better to do thousand points. So this fight, uh, we died the first time, uh, and well, I made a mistake with the, uh, thing. I'm trying to do that. I keep putting- I put this down as wave crash instead of wave slash. I could've changed that. Every time we miss is obviously a, It's a bad time if we miss, uh, and also if we die. At least this time around, if I die, I won't lose as much time. Uh, but I do have to keep an eye on what, uh, we're doing with the, uh, uh thing here with the elite. 
If she moves, it's a free uh, move that we can move to the right and then do another move. But uh, otherwise, we have to be careful with our thing, so make sure that we heal. Uh, we also want to use all of our stuff up as well. Um, chance if she moves, we get a free move. But, uh, uh, otherwise, we just move in whatever direction uh, she moves. Yeah, we'll do a uh, Alice Biscuit. Holy water next. We should die from this. A chance because if this misses, obviously, uh, like if we won, uh, if, if that missed, uh, we would have died. So, uh, with that not missing, at least we get past this. Um, we had to use a couple more healing items, but so, uh, no drop from the uh, actually, the drops on the next fight. Uh, so this fight is also kind of Hardish in the sense of, uh, you can, uh, depending on what moves it does, you could potentially even die. Um, but if you do get in a good position, you should be, uh, good with that too. Uh, I lost, uh, I lost time there because of, uh, well, uh, lost time there because the fight took, um, it, it's, it, it's basically like gold, like, a few, so. Uh, that, that, that was better than last time because we died, but, uh, not as good as, like, some of the other times, so... This, uh, is gonna be a little hard. Uh, if we're not careful, so...
Did not go well. Uh, because I had to use a like, few extra healing items, but uh, we got the shred of demons, that means we're gonna save time on the fourth one. Uh, the third one, sorry. Uh, we got the shred of demons there, so that instead of me having to uh, instead of me having to use uh, you know go actually do the fight, I can use the shred of demons. So we'll save time on the next fight by being able to use one item uh, to come in. Uh, so that's a random drop that we got. That's the first time I've had that drop actually, so that's that we'll save time here for that. Uh, we had to take some time just to heal and, and thing there, but we missed twice, so if we didn't miss twice, we would have been better off. So we can actually just use an item here. Here's the Shred of Demons. This is much yeah. faster than just going all the way up to the That's the first time I've had that, so this is going to be like the, uh, the best that I've had uh, for this. And then, uh, Hyperphobia is all based on, uh, at least we've got the Alice Biscuit, but, uh... See, we, you can see we saved like a minute there, just from uh, not having to actually do the fight, not having to... Normally you have to go up to the... If you didn't have the, uh, Shred of Demons, you have to go up to the enemy do two, uh, two to three crushing blows, but then you also risk being attacked by the enemy, so... We've got the Shroud of Demons, that's the first time I've had that. So now this fight here can also just go, uh, you have like five attempts before the enemy catches you. Uh, so... Uh, you can get this in one try, you can get this in no choice. If uh, the enemy catches up to you, you will have uh, it's, uh, nothing, nothing they can do about it. Stone. And interrupt us, which is bad. Hey.
Yeah, so with this fight, we pretty much just do the same thing. We go, uh... You basically want to just keep uh, sp spinning around uh, Strabo. And hoping that he doesn't move. Uh, if, you, if you just keep staying in the spot, uh, he's going to keep turning and... Uh, not be able to do anything. Going around the other way. He did a uh, extra move. Alright, there we go. I'm, I'm still happy with that one. Considering we've got like a. Uh, only one more segment left, then it's gonna take about an hour. We should have a. a, a unless we die on uh, Odeo, which can happen, but like, if, uh, even if I do, it's like we, we, we haven't been at this far uh, yet. Well, we have been this far, but we haven't. Uh, I just wish we still had the 13 minutes of saving time. Uh, Now, normally what you can do is, you, if you were playing uh, casually or whatever, you could just go straight to where uh, Odio is and go and fight him along the way. But what we need to do is, we, if we're trying to get to the, we're trying to get the true ending, uh, the good ending, I should say. So to get the good ending, you have to go and uh, uh, at least talk to every single character um, once. Uh, I also need to. Uh, so five of the characters we're going to have in our party, three of them we are not. So we've just met the first one we're going to have. Uh, we also need to level up characters, but we need to get a full party first before we're able to uh, level up certain characters. Uh, namely, uh, Sundown uh, is is the one that we need to name. First off, we need to grab this. This will allow us to have a cube. Like, I, I, 
we're definitely going to have the game finished. Uh, we'll have another run that's finished, we'll see how long it takes. Like, last time this took an hour and 13 minutes to get through this entire section, but, uh, we're, we'll see how it, how it is. Like, I... Obviously, we would have been a lot further ahead if I hadn't died those in those two sections, but we'll, we'll go through the whole run of this And that just means next time we can uh, make up for that. But I just need to be better with my current. Uh, I'll need to be better with my current. This, uh, these areas, though, is like they, they're all being renamed from when you were here in the Middle Ages. They've been renamed to other stuff now. Um, and also, all of the, I believe, every single area can spawn uh, the same uh, enemies. So, uh, we can find enemies that are really good for grinding, not uh, just in the Archon Fork, uh, Archon Spruce. We can find them also in. Uh, we can find them also in. Like the the castle, we can find them in the castle as well, which which does help. It's still going to be the same level ups, but uh, usually I've been on point with the uh, levels in in this area because I've gone the wrong way or something like that. But, um, we had to do one little bit of grinding for the old, but everything else was actually fine in terms of the So go and talk to Pogo. <laughs> Basically, we need to go around and find Pogo. He's in three spots. First spot is here. Second spot's right here. Third spot is way up here. We've got one at him. Go to the fight and then uh, basically we just recruit him into the party. Until we have to replace him with you. Um, but having him here at least allows us to get through some of the fights we would like to face uh, as just an extra uh, helping hand before we replace him with Cube. Who, uh, Cube is very important because of being able to use a uh, Mesa Cannon, which basically allows you to hit every anything on the map in a dark wagon. Diagonal 
we have everybody, we can start uh, leveling what we want, because uh, we want to get uh, Sundown to 11, I think it was, in Ibarra Maru's at 10. Well, oh, why is it? Basically, they, they have to be at 11 and 10. They both blow up at the same time, so I think obviously we need to also get equipment items. There's a lot of equipment items, uh, both in here as well as in uh, the Archon's Roost, that's why we have two equipment splits. So we'll just see how far we are. Head? This is a. Uh, we just wrap all the stuff down to the bottom here. Three armor pieces here. Uh, two chests up the top. Uh, two chests here. Two items over here. And two chests here. And then now we need to equip all these items. So, uh, so, a faded hat for uh, helm, uh, gloves with uh, fang glove, uh, poncho with Genji armor, and then this is Tabby. Uh, Pogo gets the Peacemaker, uh, the jacket, and the white band. Uh, the Baramaru gets the laughing mask. You should not be respectful to place the kitchen glove, then sacred silver armor. Sacred silver armor. And uh loot. And then Helm of Nightmares. Uh Buttline Special. Uh the silver armor again and then the orbital loot. So it gets rid of uh that gets rid of some of the Bad gear, so that we can uh, that place with the gear later. So now we go for cube. Uh, sorry, we don't go for cube yet. We have to go to the right of the throne room because there's even more items we need to grab. Grab cube off. The, the reason why we're saving time is because we have, uh, with some of the splits we're going to save time, some of the splits we're going to lose time, because it, we have to, uh, it's going to go, always go up and down, because it just depends on when we get the, uh, it depends on when we get the fight spawns, because we're, as, and until we have to stop getting fight spawns, we're going to need to, and it also depends on what type of fight spawns we get, so, obviously this fight spawns not a good one. See how we, uh, how we go. So far, no fight spawns that I want to use, so I, I'll probably lose time a bit later.
Ponce. Once we get cured, we pretty much are on our way to, uh, we just make it, start making our way to the to have the cube here, give him the metal box. We're going to take the one round, down three. Give the little box to cube, say yes, say that we want to replace Pogo. Um, and then that's... So now we basically just go on our way to. Uh, now we're on our way to the the final area. Like we have uh, basically we're just going to Archon's Roost. Going to grab all the items along the way. We're going to fight whatever we can uh, that's good on the way, and then we're also going to uh, then be ready to fight the Odio. So this is one of the fights that I was talking about, where if we, uh, we get it, um, it can be a bit very beneficial. Uh, so, like I was saying before, uh, if you use, uh, obviously looking at the, uh, the characters that is to the top left there has a flag, and obviously all these other enemies are here, so, but if we use Mesa Cannon, Mesa Cannon is basically going to make it so that we target that one enemy, he dies, and then we get the experience. So this is a really good fight. This is not the more beneficial one, there's one where it's just the, the tank and the magician thing. This one here is not as uh, fast when we're going to get attacked, but uh, still, we're going to get decent uh, levels from this. If this hits. We win the fight here. Um, obviously the more beneficial one is the one without the three flaming, you know, the flaming uh, head enemies. Uh, but having them, uh... <laughs> Two doesn't happen until almost near the end. Um, so now it's just a matter of remembering where all the items are. Uh, first item should be to the right. I've got to remember not to. Don't think just to. We're still looking for the same sorts of fights, if we see lesser dragons, if we see, uh, ra uh, bears, if we see, 
those uh, ones with the tanks on them, like those are good fights to take. So we grab this for the Shadow Demons, which we used before. And this fight is... I need 
need one more level, because Sundown and Obaramaru... So, Sundown's level 11, Obaramaru is... Uh, this should be a Shred of Demon Fruit. It's not over here that I've uh, made a mistake. Supposed to go down the other way. Uh, west of the water is where. West of the water is where we're supposed to go, because that will. Uh, west of the water is one item, and then north of the water is uh, another. The other one. Make mistakes. That's. Uh, down this way. This is what they mean by west. west, west, west. So soon we're gonna be able to not have to soon we're not gonna have to worry about uh, getting uh, just, like maybe one or two more encounters, depending on what we get. So that was the Enma charm, I think. So we've still gotta go through the doors, uh, east. This should uh, be enough for the levels. <laughs> enough over Maru, but we need one more level up. For the sun down. Yeah, it should be 11 10. One more. Uh, one more, uh, encounter, and then we have, uh, enough, so we're not gonna have to grind the encounter. Should be up here.
次の相手だ Alright, that's it. We don't need to uh, worry about luck anymore. So all the fights can be uh, flee from all the fights. And now we just need to grab the last little remnants of uh, things. So the belt top are here, the burial ground in the next door to the west, and then uh, a couple of other items. Now this is Equipment 2. Equipment 2 is uh, Ibaramaru. Uh, Ibaramaru gets the Unicorn, uh, gets the Pretty Flower and the four uh, Unicorn Horns. Cube gets the uh, some Taylor Hat, which maybe just got. Silver armor on the top knot. And then I have Argus. And then uh, swap a uh, uh, swap a Baromaru with you, and then a Baromaru with you. There's the, uh, entry save it. Alright, I, I guess that's fine. Uh, now we just go, uh, make our way to where we're supposed to be. So we're on our way to fighting the first, uh, on the way to fighting the first part of the video. Uh, just this way. So we have no more items to grab, no more anything else. So we just get to the fight and then we're all ready to go. Uh, obviously stuff can still fall apart, but we'll, uh, See how everything goes. Save the first fight because we uh, uh, we get a save like right outside of the uh, thing anyway, and also like I'm gonna have to do it eventually with no save. Uh, so uh, same thing with the boss rush and the other thing. If we lose time, we lose time. I can't really do much about that. Like uh, just need to make sure I'm extra careful is all. So the, some of these things are very specific. We need to, um... So, I'll, I'll, 
I'll, I'll walk through them anyway, but once we get to a certain part of the fight, it's basically just keep this, but sticking in the same corner and then just doing whatever. Uh, whatever. So, first things first is using the Parasite Sword on the Maw, which is the mouth. But we have to make sure we're clicking on the Maw. If we don't click on the Maw uh, only, it's going to target everything else. We want it to do 999 damage. If we don't do that, it's going to target the other stuff and do less damage. So. Right eye of Odeo. Space and then poison mist. Make sure you poison mist on specifically on the wall. Otherwise, uh, if you get targeted, it's not gonna uh, thing. You could also not get poison, which you did, so that's good. Now it's gonna take poison damage gradually. So that's so far so good. Down a space. Uh, only people that need healing right now are. Wait, so we'll use a each one instead of a uh, mass seal because everyone else is fine for the health right now. You don't want to waste the other stuff. That's the first thing. So now it's going to do the same thing. Basically, heal with a peach bond and stuff. Actually missed the second eye, which is not good. I'm gonna do that extra damage. We at least got rid of one. Until, we keep doing that for a while until we get the, uh... Well, we died, so I need to... Before I can get the heal off with, uh... Before I can get the heal off with, uh, the salary. Before I can die. This is still not. So, it's just a matter of getting the timing right now. <laughs> We just 
lost the bar of honor. Okay, I, I have to retry this fight. I think we lose at this point, because we don't have any picking up damage. Uh, not picking up damage. I'm gonna restart the fight. It's better to restart the fight here, I think. That sucks. That really sucks. Like, again, that can happen. I, I, I don't know what I did wrong. I don't think there was anything that I did r really wrong here, because, uh... It, stuff just missing, I think, is what uh, thing, and also not being in the right like timing for the, not being in the right timing for the area. Because I'm looking at everything else that I I've done, and it's like yeah, I, everything else was was perfectly fine. Everything else there was perfectly fine. Like we shouldn't have died. We should have been able to heal with uh, Masaru, but unfortunately, like we we took too much. To... All right, we'll have to read it later. At least it remembers where we are, but we still lost time because of stuff like that. Missing the top one. Maybe, maybe it can't hurt. Uh, that's also just what's gonna cost me in the end, too, if I'm not careful. At least he's tired in that the bar instead of Masaru, but it is what it is. Like, I need them both alive. Uh, meets. What the hell? I thought you said I. that because he's gonna get tired uh, the, the, the damage was not what we were looking for anyway. And then Masaru just does switch it on. Uh. 
Sundown dies, it's okay because he's not going to get damages. I think now we just keep doing this until we uh, keep doing this until we uh, kill the enemies. They're almost dead. Um, once we swap to another enemy, once we swap to the other enemy, we have to. Uh, uh, should be okay. Missed. That's good. So I can get the heal. Kill the eye on the left, and then hopefully we kill the eye on the right with uh, the Boromaru. And then a lot of the times, uh, this next section is going to basically be fertility charm, uh, healing, makes a cannon. Uh, pretty much the whole entire way. Uh, that's the main stuff done. So now we have to fight the main purity form, which is here. So it's Wind Slash with a Boromaru, healing with Masaru, and uh, Cube is going to be doing basic. Right now. Slash as well, which is so annoying. Socket's broken. Death, but, 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 
See misses, especially from Mason Cannon. Like we, we, we oh, missed a, uh, we missed out on Windstock. Fine, but like missing on Mason Cannon is, is big damage too. That's and see we're losing time now because we died this last time. Um, we died the first in the first phase. Um, here goes like potential time I could have been saving around there, like halfway, not even halfway through the fight yet. So I guess this is how it's going to go be, isn't it? Like we're going to save all that time with the of uh, thing and then we just lose it. Because it's bad, uh, like... I don't know why it, uh, why, why it went this way. And that last fight still isn't guaranteed, oh, no. like, we can still lose in the final fight. Why are we missing? We're missing so many, uh. I'm missing so many times. It's like there's three or four times now I've missed a slash, and Mesa Cannon even missed it once. This is not a good fight. Like, dying the first fight, these misses constantly, uh, stuff being broken when you don't want to be broken. This is a very slow fight. first phase. That's two Mesa Cannon. I'm not sure why we're missing all these, all these uh... I have no idea why we're missing all these, uh... Why are we missing all of these shots here? Missing is actually making it so that we're losing out on uh, uh, these. This is probably why we're getting broken so often with this too. Three hundred damage. At least that kind of makes up for missing. Kind of makes up for at least. So doing that damage is good.
Uh, the sandwich satchel was in here earlier. He actually uh, stopped by and asked about where the sandwiches were. Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty well. I'm panicking a bit because this is a. Uh, I'm losing time because of this uh, particular boss fight, but um, I might still be able to uh, do something. We're doing. Uh, hopefully, we're doing pretty well. I, 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 I really need to. I think we're about to win. Be better than the fight. I'm doing pretty well though, I'm happy to uh, say that I have at least something to submit. Well not submit, but like I lost a ton of time, but there's the there's the end of the fight. Okay, now I can kind of freely talk a bit. Um I'm doing pretty well. Uh, I was about 30 minutes ahead. Uh about 30 minutes ahead of the uh of my time, and then I died twice, and then I died in this major fight too. Um, we don't yeah. want to accept the thing here. Uh, we do want to leave. I could save. I'm not gonna save. We're just gonna. Uh, I, I need to save as much time as possible. Uh, see, there he is. There's the there's the sandwich snatcher. But he, the sandwich snatcher is here. The real one. Uh, it, it's it's kind of difficult. I mean, that boss is obviously supposed to be under level, uh, uh, over level. I should say. But, uh, now we have a boss rush that we have to do. Uh, which, if we die in any of these fights, we're going to. Uh, 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 Mind you, Zelda with the dungeon aspect. Uh, I guess it kind of is. Um, it's kind of. Weird. It is, a. Uh, some of the fights are hard, some of the fights are, like, this is the final boss, so, uh, of course I'm doing it under level as well. So it's not, not too, too bad. Um, no, not this game. No, this game doesn't have sandwiches to collect. Uh, however, uh, one of the games I will be playing at some point, uh, like a Dragon Infinite World, does have sandwiches that you can collect and you can use them as uh, healing items. I made the mystery. I made the mystery machines from Scooby Doo. Is that why uh, we're gonna? There's no mysteries to be solved here, unfortunately. This is all just a. Uh, Hoping that things go well. Uh, so this, uh, so if we lose any of these fights in this boss rush here, we're going to. Uh, if we lose any of these fights, we're going to uh, have to like redo them again. Although there are, uh, I remember playing a lot of. Uh, what was it? Uh, there were a lot of Scooby Doo games that came out in like the PS2 era. I remember playing them. You had to go around and collect like, Scooby Snacks. Uh... Yeah, I have to defeat. Uh... So this is like a boss rush. So the, the the enemy we just beat was like the main boss, and then we have to do a boss rush of all the different forms of him across the different periods of time in one v one fights. Uh, then we have to, uh, fight the true form at the end. Which, the true form fight is a little scary, but we need to just make sure we get the right, uh, This is what I need to concentrate on, right? This is not 
think I made a mistake. I think I did. I think we're, I think we're fine with this. Same boss, different variant. Across a different time period. So every character is, uh... I think I was supposed to go to the left wing. We're supposed to go to the, uh, left wing. Uh... Yeah, same boss, different variant. So this is obviously like the uh, Imperial China variant of the economy. And then we... Uh, yeah, we need to... We need to hit this. I also forgot to split for the other one. Split for the... Like, we're gonna split for the other one. We'll split for here then. Yeah, same boss, different variants, and then you fight the final, final, final boss at the end. Um, it's all the way right down the range of the garage. Stuff this up now. I, I know that my uh, mother matrix fight is not accurate with the split, but I can. I, I'm not worried about that right now. I'm worried more about finishing the run. But uh, I never got to deal with the dinosaur. This fight can be really bad. Uh, let's try to demon twice. Um, does the character know how to Hadouken? Ah, uh, yes. Some of the characters do know how to do that, actually. Um, unfortunately, it's not fast to Hadouken. That's the uh, and my child vision scroll for this way. Uh, this is a little rough. I think I need to step away from this fight. Uh, Emma, and then Fujin. Thank you for the kind compliments. Uh, I greatly appreciate that. Uh, this is good. Yes, we are losing time, but it's also because I'm kind of panicking. I wanna. I don't wanna have a, a PBB uh, this short. I should have had saved like 13 minutes. All the way right, free floor. This is good. Awkward because I don't have a thing. But uh, thank you for the. Keep the sandwich. Unfortunately, I don't have a sandwich oh, yeah, emote. If I had a sandwich emote, I would uh, definitely like. Uh, if I had a sandwich emote, I would, uh, or something, but I, I don't have one, unfortunately. I'm lacking in the sandwich, uh, I, I, I will, uh... I, I will have to do a sandwich emote for the stream when I get to affiliate. Or some, some sort of emote. Because it will everyone keeps referencing sandwiches in my stream. Sleep foot and then two spaces at the end. We shouldn't get hit with this because we add on the Right two spaces, German suplex. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and make one, but I can't uh <laughs> the uh I can't I can make emotes, but I can't uh publish them. Because uh, obviously I, to publish emotes you need to uh be affiliated, so uh if I can do that I will So I, I will uh I will make one. This is not good, because he's now Hopefully I can... I'm not taking any chances. I'm not taking any chances at this point. Yeah, I, I, I can try and make a sandwich emote, I just can't publish it onto Twitch. Um, until I reach the video. So, obviously once I do that, I'll try and make something. Um, maybe I should make a variety of different sandwiches, so I can do like some sort of like a... Uh, Stream game with sandwiches. All right, this fight's easy. Just spam Babylon stomp. Am I almost there? Uh, last I checked, I'm at 0.88. Uh, 
My, it's the highest it's ever been since I started streaming, so, uh, not there yet, but, uh, wait, getting ever so close, closer to the goal. Right, now we get to, uh, fight a giant chicken with a giant robot. Uh, So now this fight's easy because all we have to do is just stand here and uh, throw fly uh, do flash fire. Four times. I'm trying to concentrate here, but like at the same time. We're, we're, we're so, so, so close. Thank you so much for your kind words. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, I can't say I've heard that. I can't say that I've heard that name. I don't know who that is. Is that a? I don't know. I don't know who that is. Come on. All right. We have about five minute leeway. Let's. Let's end out the fight. It's not what I was hoping for, but again, like we're at the final fight. Let's just end the end the game and uh, gotta wait through all the fights. That's all seven fights done. Can do this let's uh so this is the final this is the true uh form of the final enemy so we don't have to beat both arms we just have to beat center section and we don't even have to really do that we just have to get to a certain uh hp threshold so uh pass turn uh, up three spaces uh makes a cannon on this uh left the space all the way up Poison Mist. Poison Mist on Cinemodio. Make sure that you click on this. If you don't click on it, he's going to uh, not get hit by it and then not get poisoned. Which is going to cost us time. This didn't happen last time, uh, so we should be able to be used a little bit okay, I think. Okay. Mind, uh... Uh, Sundown just doesn't use anything, so just do number 9 push on everyone. Okay, we, can, uh, we only have to get him to, uh, we only have to get him to, uh, half, uh, like about halfway and then we, uh, we win. It's just gonna take some time, uh, trying to suplex on this. It's so close, it's so close to, come on, we can, uh, it's gotta be on the next splash, uh, as well, we can... We can, we can get this. Once I see the certain thing, it's just fine. Uh, 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 back one space. Shuriken Barrage on uh, this. Uh, right on space up the sweet rush fire. Um, uh, just whittle down his health, we can do this. Whittle down the health, that's a really good hit. Alright, there we go. Alright, alright, we're, we're now, so, uh, we're there, we're there. Now we just need to, uh, now we just need to, uh, basically pass turn. 
pass our turn, and uh, now we're like invulnerable, uh, and then we just finish off the fight. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna save a lot of time here, even with those deaths. This is a really good run, outside of like some other. Alright, we're, we're, we're there. As long as I don't make a mistake, we should be. Uh... Alright, we basically have to pass turn now. Everyone joins. Everyone from the past joins our party, so we have the. Uh... Does 300 and something damage. Uh, that's what we wanted. So now we just pass our turn. We pass our turn and uh, everybody gets full heal. Um, just pass our turns uh, until uh, he comes out of the. Uh, he busts out of the uh, area. Can't do any moves. We can pass our turn. So yeah, we're uh, all I have to do is just get past this one. So we saved so much time, even though I uh, I don't know where I saved the time. So we we're pretty much like we we got, but I can't split till after. Yeah, this is a speed run. There it is. Oh, what, what an ending time. What an ending time we just got. 5.37.37.73. It could have been much higher. It could have been like, uh, I could have saved probably another 6-7 minutes. It would have been like sub 5.30. I accidentally pushed that. Alright. That is, that is the, that's it. We just, uh, they went my, they went my tablet that I was using. 537, 37, 73. It should have been 537, 37, 37. I would have, I would have been happy if that was like what it was. Uh, there's a, what, we saved like seven minutes. I could have saved, no, it, it's not a new record. Like it's a new PB for me, but not a new record for the, uh, not a new record for, like, world record pace, but, uh, obviously we're gonna, we can improve on this from here, like, I, I can definitely do better. We died, like, at least three times. We'll skip to the credits and we'll go through what happened, but, yeah. What a, uh, what a... No, you didn't distract me. We're not gonna skip the credits, we're gonna leave the credits on. Um, you didn't distract me with anything, it was, uh, I was just wanting to pay attention to the, uh, what I was doing, but... Alright, that's a 7 minute PB, that could have been probably like 13 minutes, if not longer. Yeah, the 73 should be reversed, so we can get 5, 37, 37, 37. Alright, we did it, so, uh, uh... It's not a record, it's my PB, so, um... Obviously I can do better than this. Um, but... What a wild run. What a wild run that happened, like... I can definitely improve on this going forward, though. Alright, let's go through... Let's go through the run while the credits are rolling. Obviously, uh... do some stuff with that. That was really fun. I, I enjoyed doing that. That was really, really fun. Alright, let's go through it all. Uh, obviously, Crusaders 1 was, uh, not as good as it was before, but everything else in this was consistent. I didn't make any mistakes with the movement, I didn't make any mistakes with the fights, uh... 
So Crusaders 2, we saved a bunch of time because I didn't have to reload the game. Uh, Doc Crusaders, we lost time because it wasn't a really great fight. Ambush Crusaders, we uh, saved, uh, we lost time, but we saved time because of the napalm grenade stuff. Commander fight was perfect. Uh, we lost some time in the gauntlet because of, uh, lost some time in the gauntlet because of the uh, extra attacks. And then the Inco fight, we had to do uh, a couple of things of the wrong way. But overall, like, this chapter was so much better improved than before. Uh, same thing goes for Distant Future. We saved time with this because of... Uh, Distant Future, we saved time because of the... Do I ever stream Pokemon? Yes, I have. I've streamed... Uh, Pokemon Scarlet all the way through. I have a playthrough of both DLCs and I've got a playthrough of both DLCs and the main game on my YouTube, which should be linked to. You. Oh, didn't actually make that link. Uh, I can probably. I, I I do have a YouTube channel that has everything on there. I have to add the command. I should be doing that. It didn't work. Um. I, I've streamed Pokemon uh, Scarlet in both DLCs. Uh, I do intend to stream other... I can do this a lot better. Uh, I can't show the Pokemon layout. I don't think... I don't have the Pokemon layout on my screen. Uh, Vanish as it yet. I do have a Pokemon layout though. Um, so... Eventually I'll go back to the Pokemon at some point. Uh, I guess when Legends are... Uh, Kalos comes out, I'll do a uh, run through of that. Um, Distant Future, again, we went pretty consistently with. Uh, all the movement was good, all the uh, fights were fine. We saved a bunch of time just because we knew what, where we were going. Uh, you know, who would have thought that by following where you're supposed to go was the way it would save you time? But, you know, that's what happened there. I, same thing with Eater Japan. I saved time with there because I knew where I was going. You know, I'm still going to save a little bit of time for that. And then the fights themselves. Master was perfect. Uh, we I should try Arceus. I've already played Arceus. Uh, I, I enjoyed Arceus. Um, so uh, they're making a new one. If you are unaware, they're making Legends uh, Legends Kalos. Um, I believe that's fourth gen, or fifth gen, fourth. Or um, so I have played uh, Legends Arceus, just not on stream. Um, they're making Pokemon Legends Kalos though. Which is going to be a, 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 the sequel to that. Uh, that's coming out, I think, sometime next year. So I will play uh, that on the stream. Uh, Masashi's fight was perfect. Uh, Yodogimi was... Uh, I'm a slight mistake. But that's, you can see, again, you can see how much time we can improve. We were 10 minutes ahead. And then we lost all that time because of the mistakes. Um, and then Gamma Heavy was perfect as well, pretty much. China. I accidentally did a long fight, so we lost a bit of time there. Uh, Ruffians was perfect. Uh, the training montage, we lost like 30 seconds because my time was, uh, uh, we got hit, uh, we got disabled a couple of times, the other people got disabled, uh, a little bit less. Uh, Sun Tzu Wang was fine, uh, Gate Guards was perfect, uh, Hallway Guards was perfect, I think. But yeah, I, I liked Arceus, uh, but uh, we'll, we'll, I'll do Kalos when that happens, um, at some point next year. Uh, White Tiger was good. Uh, all these fights were very consistent. All the um, fights leading up to Odi Wan Lee were all consistent, except for, I think, uh, this fight. We did die in one of them, and then I had to restart. Uh, this was worked exactly the way it's supposed to. Uh, this also was good, uh, we didn't die against this fight, so that was good too. Uh, present day, uh, Oribe, we missed twice, uh, Max Morgan was perfect, no Max Bomber. Uh, this was basically the same, same for this too. Arja didn't troll us by not doing the move, Tulahan, uh, we had absorbed a couple of moves and wasted time with that. Yeah, I'm excited for Kalos as well. Um, 
I don't know if I'm getting this next generation of Pokemon game. I assume I'm going to get it next year. Uh, after Kellogg's. I'm trying to remember what they did. With the Arceus, they released it. Uh, with the Arceus, they released it in a different year to the next thing. Not the and then Odeo, we didn't die in, so we saved like a couple of minutes. Uh, Prehistory, we got all the feral pups in a fight, so that saved us a bit of time. Crew Warriors, we had a bad fight the first time, and then we recovered from that. Zaki was perfect. All three fights. Uh, Odo, we... Uh, was also pretty much the same as, uh, it was almost perfect, I would say. Uh, Mad Dog 1. Again, you can see the time we had at the, before the ambush stuff happened. Uh, by the time we reached the first ambush fight, uh, phase, we... 13 minutes ahead. We were 13 minutes ahead. Uh, and then I died twice in the Odeo fight. Which uh, then pushed us back to 5 minutes ahead. So, obviously, without that happening and getting it right the first time, we would have been 30 minutes ahead consistently. Through. So, this is where this is where you'll start to see time saved and lost. Um, and then when we finally got it right, it was fine. The, the, these fights are uh, Armstrong and Stray, where we saved time because I uh, they actually were in better positions. Dragon on, I lost time in because of that. Uh, two. Uh, we didn't get any of the good fights for the summit, which then led us losing time against the Archangel uh, stuff. Portal Knight, we did first try. Uh, this was fine. Uh, the guards, we got uh, an extra fight, so that made sense. Uh, claustrophobia, I did in first try, but we had a uh, it took a little bit long. Uh, Scotophobia, we got the Shroud of Demons from, so it was a longer fight, but uh, it was worth it because then we saved a minute just from being able to use an item in this fight. This was second turn, so not uh, perfect, but still second turn. It's better than five turns. And Strabo 2, outside of me getting a one move on me, was pretty much good as well. Uh, and then uh, Pogo was good. Uh, Boromaru was good. The leveling stuff went really well, but we didn't save any time on it because I lost time on that other thing as well. Both equipment slots, I didn't lose any time on, which is nice to see. Uh, we did die in the first phase of Odeo. Um, unfortunately, I died in the first phase of Odeo. If we didn't die there, we would have been nine minutes... Uh, we would have been around the nine-minute mark uh, instead of around the seven-and-a-half-minute mark. Um, I wasn't expecting to save that much time, though. And some of these fights went... I thought I was going to die here. Uh, but unfortunately we didn't. Uh, which, again, this was around the time the chat came in, so it's like, I, I, I feel like I was more inspired and motivated to want to keep going with this, uh, run once, uh, people were in chat. So it's like, oh, it's nice to have, like, motivation and stuff, because usually I'm just, uh, chilling by myself. Um, and then all these fights were really consistent. Just really, uh... Well done. And then the, the final fight, we actually had a really good final fight. We didn't uh, have to heal a lot, everyone survived. Um, we did lose out on Mason Cannon once, but it didn't matter, we made up for it with other damage. So, yeah, overall that was that was really, really good to do. I'm, I'm so happy that I was uh, able to make this much progress. Obviously we can improve on this much, much faster uh, in the next time, but at least now it's down to 537. Uh, so I, I reckon I could probably save another seven minutes, just on not dying. I'm gonna make sure I save these, save the splits. Uh, I guess I have to close it down. I'll do that on the end. Uh, usually I just pick save splits and I just save them. I guess this time it's not save. Um, it'll save, it'll ask me to save when I do. Yeah, that is, uh, that's gonna be it, though, because, uh, we've, I don't know if there's anything else I have to really discuss, like, we've already, obviously, like, plans for next stream, um, tomorrow there's an Xbox, uh, an Xbox conference, and also the, uh, Black Ops 6, uh, gameplay showcase, so I'll be watching both of those, uh, tomorrow stream both of those. Uh, I'm not sure when uh, they start, so uh, we'll just have to see when they start. If not, I'll probably just work on some other stuff. Uh, tomorrow, uh, the day after that, is the Ubisoft Forward. Uh, I also
also want to stream that too. Uh, and in between that I'll be working on more of the Persona 4 Golden uh, stuff. Uh, I don't know when I'll do another uh, round of this. It might be sometime in the next week. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but you can look forward to more of these in between working on other stuff. Uh, but next, tomorrow, the plan is, uh, tomorrow's plan is going to be Black Ops 6 and the Xbox, uh, conferences. So I'm interested to see what they're going to do with that. Uh, I'm so behind in Call of Duty games as is anyway. I haven't played, uh, I still haven't played Vanguard. I still haven't played, um, what's the one after Vanguard? I still haven't played Modern Warfare 3 yet. Uh, I haven't played Modern Warfare 2. Um... And then obviously this one, because they're, they're just so large. The games are like so large, I'm like, uh, I don't have enough room on my console to make room for them, so... Uh, I, I guess that's what you can look forward to. Uh, the gameplay showcase for Black Ops 6 and the Xbox conference. Yeah, thank you so much for the... Uh, so much for this support. No, pineapple does not belong on pizza. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Pineapple does not belong on a pizza. At least in my opinion. Vanguard's not worth playing. I mean, I'm only looking at the campaign, so I've already bought it. That's the problem. I'm gonna... I, I only mainly pay for the campaigns. Pineapple does not belong on pizza. That is a crime. I should ban you from saying things like that. Absolutely not. Alright, uh... I guess I should wrap things up now, because I that means I can have time to upload this video and also, uh, do some other stuff along the way. Um, but yeah, uh... Expect a... Is there a way to donate? Uh, I haven't set up a way to donate yet, so... No, not, not at the moment. Um, I guess I could try and look into doing that at some point. I haven't actually, uh, set anything up. Pizza belongs on pineapple. How would that, how would that work? How would that work? Would you, uh, put the toppings on top of the, would you cut like a slice of pineapple and then, would you cut like a slice of pineapple and then put the toppings on top of the pineapple? Is that what you're saying that you would do? I guess that's what you would do in that case. Now, I haven't set up a donations thing. I di didn't really think about it, because I figured that... I, I, I was under the impression that I was going to get to affiliate easier than what I have, but obviously that's uh, not the case. I might as well make a save here. Um, I will get there eventually. Like, that's the that's the thing. I will we'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, Alright, I can I can always set it up and set something up with that. I haven't thought of, I haven't thought about that because I, I I was hoping that I was as much as wear pants of course. I was hoping that I was going to uh, get to affiliate before uh, like I didn't expect it was going to take like a year and a half, uh, but it seems like I'm getting closer to. I guess I can eventually set something up, but I just never... I never really thought about it, and also I kind of felt a bit iffy of wanting to, like, I... I feel like if I asked for donations, that would be kind of... scummy, I don't know why, I just have this... icky feeling about it. I feel, I, I feel like if I was going to do that, I'd, I would want to give back to the community somehow, because the, it's like... If, someone's willing to donate money to me, I'd rather make sure that I... I'd rather make sure that I... give something back, you know? Which is why I have the follower incentives. I've got the follower incentives... I've got the follower incentives to go... I've got the follower incentives to motivate people to want to think. Obviously, when I get to affiliate, my intention would be to change from followers to subs, because then that way I can keep growing the channel from that point. So... I guess I'll just, like... I'll keep that in mind in the future. 
I'll put it, if I ever do anything like that with the donation thing, I'll make it like anonymous so that people don't have to um, disclose any of that sort of thing, because I appreciate people watching, I appreciate people like following and talking and chatting and memeing and all that sort of stuff, I appreciate all that. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good point for me to end the stream. Uh, so, with all that being said, uh, just add a donate button. Might be quite I guess I could do that. Uh, is there a normal way that people do that? Do they usually just set up a PayPal account? Do they set up like a... I'm not even sure if I can do that because a lot of stuff is locked behind becoming affiliate. Maybe officially through Twitch you can't do that, but uh, I've never thought about it. Like, I've never actually... Uh, I've never considered it. I, uh, when, when I first started, I didn't really consider it. But I wanted to grow a, a fan base first and grow people watching before I even considered, like, uh, adding all of that into there. I'll have to look into it um, now that uh, people are, like, inquired about it. Um, I, I am changing the channel uh, in some ways. I will add some other things. But uh, thank you for uh, watching. Uh, thank you for stopping by. Um, with that being said, uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Every like, comment, subscribe to this video, because you can watch the That's a my content viewer. It's a content viewer, which is really nice to find. I uploaded my class of Clap Racks, as well as Let's Plays and Let's Plats. Rolling knows how. Uh, I have Streamlabs already set up. Um, I've got Streamlabs set up on both of my PCs. Uh, I've got OBS set up on both PCs now. This is what I'm using OBS now because um, Twitch Studio is what I used to use. Twitch Studio is is they told me that Twitch Studio was going away on the 31st of, March, of May, so it's still up. Uh, I just don't want to use it anymore because I don't want them to shut shut down halfway through stream. But uh, if there is a way to uh, to do that, I will. Uh, if it is through Streamlabs, then I can. I'll figure it out as I go. Um, so, uh, the Clapper 6 sift with the forest was a true mate. I've got a button that goes to love balls and stuff. So, I've got F, Vertigo, Press 4, Fans, and Reunion, Cuphead Straight, Marvel's Avengers, Dark and Bottom, Devil Me. Days Gone was a true mate. Shiro Trek Law, Order, Like Dream Vision, and Comic, which was a 5. Triumph of Shade, Pokemon Scarlet, which was a 6. Dark and 2, which was a 1. Biohazard. Lord of Strong, AEW Fight Forever, Sponsored Square Pants, and Shake. I've got Sega Z-Fest and Remit as a stream mirage. Uh, Sonic 5 Tactica, Pokemon Violet, Resident Evil Village, which is what I've been dreaming. Also, I've got Spring Code, Kubri's Return to Dream in the Docks, uh, Theater of the Fallen Violet, Like a Dream Guide and Make a Racist Theme, Sonic 3 Reload, Miles of Guns of the Galaxy, Kubri 2K22, uh, Sonic 5 uh, 3 Portable, uh, Resident Evil Relations, as well as this game. Like custom games we have been like trophy as well as a like, switching things up some games like Switch. Uh, a lot more try more trying to show you speed runs, more trying to get our speed runs, put more about another lot. Another lot just want to do that. When will I be live again? Uh, probably tomorrow. Uh, my intention is to stream again, as I said, the Xbox showcase and the Black Ops 6 gameplay showcase. So if those are done by the time I get up and download the video and set up stream, I'll do both of those in a row, uh, and then, uh, next day should be, uh, Ubisoft's conference, so I'll, I'll, I'm gonna aim for tomorrow to stream, uh, I just have to see when things finish and start, uh, when things start and finish, because, uh, Summer Games Fest was yesterday, it started at, like, 7 in the morning and finished at, like, 9 in the morning, and then I streamed that, so if it's the same sort of scenario, I'm gonna probably... Uh, stream that, so it'll be tomorrow. Uh, life life speed runs, I'll probably come back to next oh, time. Uh, okay, how do I, how do I properly... I don't really have a time, that's the issue. Uh, let me just check something. Let me check when, uh... Let me check Summer Games first, and, uh... When the actual stream goes. Let me 
me check when the Xbox Joy Case actually happened. Uh, they're saying that it's. Going to uh, how to watch the Xbox games showcase. Here we go. Let me just confirm what time all these things start. So Xbox's showcase starts at like. Thank you for stopping by, Berlin and uh, Andre. Thank you very much for. Uh, I might, uh, look into... Okay, so Xbox's Showcase and the Black Ops 6, uh, Direct, start at... Okay, uh, I don't have an exact time of when I will start the stream. Uh, yeah, I don't... Uh, yeah, be sure to activate notifications. Um, I don't have an exact time of when I start the stream, but the... The showcases are like 3 in the morning my time, which I won't be streaming them live, so basically it'll be whenever I get up and, uh, I don't really have a time. That's the issue. I don't really have a time that I, uh, settle these streams for. Um, but looking at when it's on in my time, it's like 3 in the morning, but I'm not going to be watching it live. So it'll basically be whenever I get up. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, yeah, if you activate, your, uh, I always uh, whenever I'm live, my notifications go out. I always send stuff through Twitter. I always send stuff through other areas too. So uh, yeah, you'll uh, see that. That'll be the next stream. Xbox Showcase, Black Ops Five or Black Ops Six. Is it, like, which, which one are we up to at this point? I played the first three games. The fourth one was. Uh, multiplayer only. Cold War wasn't numbered, so I'm assuming they're saying that's five. And then this is supposed to be six. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be the next thing. Just, uh, if, if, uh, when I go live, I'll be live for several hours. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for everyone for watching. Um, I also upload everything to my YouTube channel because I have to send the limitation on my videos before they're going to delete it. And I want there to be a simple place for people to pay back my content, which is so just get a notification when I go watching on YouTube. For my Twitch, at 150 followers, I'll be doing a Like a Dragon Infinite speedrun, and we also reach affiliate, which means I can watch the as well. You get to make a bunch of subscriber emotes and send it to support me, and then try going forward to the future. I'm just going to choose 7 days to upload the previous videos we've completed uh, as well. Uh, follow me on Twitch to be notified when I go live, which I'm in Discord. I will send you an invite to my friends at the Discord server, closer to 2,000 members that are going to be able to discuss there as well. I'm very active there, and you also get an notification when I go live right now as well. And finally, if you want to from my streak overlay that I used to watch the channel going forward, you can find a link down below. Uh, alright, well, before I go get out of here, well, I've got a big number of people. appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Uh, obviously, the more, the closer I get to uh, affiliate, the closer I can start improving some other things as well. So, uh, let's just make sure that this is working. Uh, it should be sending over to everyone. Oh, wait. So, wait, this is
thank you for watching, and with all that being said, it's a day night, wherever you are, and I will see you later. Yep, that actually didn't work. My raid actually didn't work. Am I still alive? I technically am still alive, right? Yeah, that raid didn't go through. Didn't even show up that it's it got hit. Okay, that this didn't work. Oh, I see what I did. Never mind. Let me do the raid again.